show. We got all these people who hit us last night and said that S. Dot and Public Utilities was going to be here this morning to start disconnecting services and breaking things down. So it's 5:57 a.m. and it's underway here. You've got S. Dot and you got utilities all around the park here. You know what I'm saying? Also, we see a sign that's going up over here. It says park temporarily closed. We see a new sign. It says today the 26th. Oh man, S dot's famous, yeah. Today's the 26th. On the stream. What's up? Good morning. Huh? How you doing, Yeah, shit, I'm alright. As usual, I was sleeping good, but you know. Yeah, so it looks like the uh, what the mayor was saying. We got a lot of information yesterday. Said that the city was going to actually start moving in today. This is their move in. What it looks like is that you got S dot here. You got all the trucks coming in down there. You guys are taking it into your shop. Where's Sam at? He's up on top of the hill at 12. Sam! <laughs> All right, so we're going to go talk to Director Zimbabwe from S. Dot. You know, these guys are just over here doing their thing. I definitely put some of hey, these guys in a bad situation, though. I tell you, especially with this art and everything else. But we heard that, um, yo, I'm calling me, what did I do? So, they're standing. No, they're not, Rick. They're tearing all the stuff out. But they're dismantling everything. What you mean? They're taking it all away. Your artwork is down there. What? I mean, it's 6 a.m., but you're not deaf. They're dismantling your barricades. I don't know, man. That's not my, it's not my issue. I'm not a protester. I'm just letting you know that, that your barricade's getting dismantled. Where's Director Zimbabwe? Hey, the park is closed today at 2 p.m. Today at 2 p.m. Today at 2 p.m. So they, they've closed the park today at 2 p.m. Hey, calm down. Our territory is right there. They're, com they're coming in all the way. No, they're not. Watch. The park is closed today at 2 p.m. That's where the signs go. So now this is parks as well. So we've got S dot. We got parks. So S dot parks. You happen to have the Associated Press out here. What you do with that? AP guys get the scoop. How you up so early? So the Associated Press is here. I mean, it's like it's global press. Guy right there, he's streaming at that backpack right there. So this is live with Associated Press. Looks like we got the Parks Department in here. We've got we've got S Dot in here. They're closed. They're closing the park today at 2 p.m. So that that sign that says 2 p.m. today, that means that they're probably most likely gonna put a trespass order on after 2 p.m. today. 
There very well could be a trespass order here at the park. Hey, you guys seen uh, Director Zimbabwe? Yo, Sam! So we're looking for Director Zimbabwe. It appears that you had uh, different philosophies here. So we're up here, we're looking for Director Zimbabwe. Director Zimbabwe. All right, you know you're on the stream. Yep. Means you're in the hot seat. Right. What's going on? What's going on is that we are we're working to start removing the barriers and uh, preserve the artwork and then reopen oh. streets to traffic. First of all, um, I think it's a safe environment for your employees. Um, yeah, I think we're, 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 we're try not trying to have conflict. We've got, I know folks are, it's early in the morning. We got folks who are, who are out talking with us. Um, yeah, there's got to fight down there. But yeah, you know, second of all, taking the artwork where? Now, you so, know that this artwork has been a very big deal for absolutely. people here. And people from the outside are coming. They try to steal the artwork and all okay. kinds of other things. Okay. So where so we're, exactly we're, is the artwork going? We want to preserve it and, and work to preserve it with this community. Um, we've got a roll-off container that has a secure lid on it. Uh, we, we will work to take whatever folks want us to take to a city facility and then work on work with people i've uh brian one of the guys who's been coordinating oh. the art has my cell phone number i'll give my cell phone number to anybody who who uh wants to talk about the artwork and and speaks for the artwork and all right well i got your on. number too yep. so Absolutely. well i'll put other instruction on twitter three don't give out my, don't give out my number no no i mean no i'm not that's why i said i'm not gonna give it out on air morning chief uh um, so, so the, the third thing is now, are, when you say reopen the streets to traffic, are you removing, uh, the, are you removing a partial footprint? Or are you removing a total footprint here at the cement barricades? So uh, our goal is to remove the entire footprint, um, uh, but we're we're not moving folks off of in front of the precinct. We're not. Um, so your intention isn't to deal with the protesters. Your intention is to move. I'm gonna tell you, your intention is to move the barricade. But not the not the t total people. Hey, um, uh, as in, like you're not here to remove the people who are camping. Right, exactly, exactly. All and, right. And if there's around, I know we've got most of the people who are left camping are, are camping here in front of the precinct. So if we if we if we need to remove like keep a perimeter. Right. Uh, here we'll, we'll work with we'll work with them. All right, so Director Zimbabwe, one last thing. I know it's a busy day for you. You yep. got a lot going on, but I would say. That if you're available between the 11 and 12 o'clock hour, you've come on our morning show before. We do it live right there. Have an opportunity to speak to the whole city as usual because this is, hey. you're out in front of it. So between 11, 11 and 12, okay. right there. Okay. I know you're busy today. You're in the hot seat, but let's see what happens. Good morning, Chief. Good to see you, sir. All right, everybody be safe. So it's underway right here. Everything is moving out. So we just we talked to Sam Zimbabwe, hey, AP. That's the head of S dot up there. If you don't know, the 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 guy in the orange jacket, he's the head of S dot. Our understanding is what's going to happen here today. So 
I'm just running over here to grab another phone real quick so I can uh, tweet. Yes. Hold on, everybody. Just grabbing the phone. We've been on the ground for years. All the barricades are coming down. The city's moving on everything. We've been out here since day one. Big issue here over this art as well. So we're fighting here. So again, as you guys know, you hear me say it, to set the scene, what we have going on is we have SDOT, we have Seattle Parks Department, and a few other uh, city agencies that are out here uh, this morning. And what they are doing is dismantling the barricade. Uh, early morning, they've taken down the art, or well, they're taking down the art, and SDOT said, So, barricades are definitely, they're on their way down. They're being dismantled. S dot is moving around the perimeter. Let's go back up over here. We see people are trying to wake up people in the tents and everything else. Um, this was uh, a lot of information was out. A lot of you guys actually hit us saying that uh, this might occur this morning. And this is what we see happening here on the ground. We just talked to S dot director Zimbabwe up there. Uh, S dot director Zimbabwe said, let's go down here to the park real quick. S dot director Zimbabwe said that uh, that their their that their plan was to remove all barricades, open the street today, and actually leave the tent. They said the people who are tented in front of the East Precinct is uh, he said it's, it's not their issue. So. At the moment, they don't have any intention to, um, they don't have any intention to remove the people who are in front of the East Precinct, said that they're here to open the streets. Walking down here, I want to show you guys a sign. Um, I'll show you a sign over here. It looks like the city, and I'll tell you why this sign right here is important. Uh, man, they got out here early, too. I'll never get to sleep in. <laughs> we hear, like, yelling in the background, people telling people, wake up.
so uh, and they took it down. I got it on tape, though. I got it on tape. Uh, and some of you guys, if you look at the stream, well, actually, hold on. Is it still here? Let me just look. Maybe I'm, I passed it. Yeah, they took it down. So if you look at the stream, there's some big red signs. Somebody downtown must be watching this. It's a big red sign that said park closed. There it is. There are, oh, they, somebody ripped it down. There it is. Hey, let me get a picture of that sign. <clears throat> Here you go. So today at 2 p.m., Today's the 26th, 2 p.m. Why is this important? Um, why is this important is that if a park is closed and they're temporarily closing at 2 p.m., then that means that after 2 p.m. that anybody's in the park could either be trespassing or they could be having an illegal assembly. So seeing a 2 p.m. park closed sign um, actually means that after 2 p.m. today, it very well could be interpreted anybody who's there in the park is either loitering or it's in an illegal assembly in the park. So that's why we saw those signs there that said, that said 2 p.m. So the sign that was there has been torn down by some of the campers. Go ahead, head back up here to 12. Hey, I'm sorry to wake you up. <clears throat> so the city has actually moved in over here. I've been out here streaming for about 30 minutes, but uh, I came out here quickly, so I don't have my, my, my other phone. I was just wondering if you could tweet out one or two things. Well, um, yeah, um, so, so if you want to, if you can, if you just, for, hey, what's up, for the next few minutes, I'm on the stream right now, just talking so I can talk through the stream, but um, just our, our hashtag chop, but I'll just check it out on the stream. Thank you. Sorry for waking you up. All right. So, basically, again, around uh, around 5:30 this morning, 5:15, 5:30, I'd say, Seattle Department of Transportation S. Dot, Seattle Parks, come down uh, into the chop. We talked to S. Dot Director Zimbabwe. He said that their goal today is, is to remove all the barricades around CHOP and to open traffic back up. So, um, so I would say this, Nikki, the Seattle, the city of Seattle has begun operations to dismantle CHOP. At 5.30 this morning, the city of Seattle began operations to dismantle uh, CHOP. So another thing, we can confirm 100% that I talked to Director Zimbabwe from SDOT. What he said is that um, they're going to take the art and they're going to catalog it and they're going to they're gonna put it at at their uh, warehouse, is what they're saying. Um, so. So right here. Pro 
protesters literally f trying to face off with a bulldozer. The bulldozer wants to come through here. Looks like we got somebody who's laying down. So, I think it looks like we've got people who are laying down on the ground here in front of the bull bulldozer. Bulldozers are out here. They're laying down in front of the ground. You know, you injured your knee. As you know, SDOT's been put in a unique position. I think SDOT Director uh, Zimbabwe, any um, any uh, capital that he's earned over here the last few weeks on the ground with the protesters, he's definitely using it all right now. Um, but this is the, the the lids are being removed off of here. We do have a small fire presence. I don't know if it's officially for this or you just walk down, but you know what I'm saying. Uh, Uh, this ain't gonna end well. Mm -hmm. So, right here is S dot is out. Nikki, can you make sure? I'm sure you already did. Can you make sure everything goes all the way across for all the all these platforms here? And what I was saying is City of Seattle. I mean, you see it. City of Seattle begins operations to dismantle CHOP. And we'll go out. Let me put it out there. Good morning. I hope that pay grade goes up when they got you guys out this morning. Good morning. How are you? Good How to see you. you. Uh, I'm still here. <laughs> Huh? It's been a long time. It's, it? it's been a long time. You know what I'm saying? I, I, I ran into a bunch of your guys yesterday. I was uh, helping with a situation down there. They're like, man, we've been watching you. <laughs> so I was like, okay. Well, uh, do you guys have any official presence here today? Just support. All right. Good luck. So the Department of Transportation is out here on the on the front line, actually, and you know this is who's facing uh, gonna be facing the people, especially they tried to reduce. So what I saw is the security guy try to reduce the footprint over here. They wanted to reduce the footprint down just here to the East Precinct. My understand from. Uh, he went up the street. Uh, it was going the other direction. My understanding from S. Dot Director Zimbabwe, who we actually spoke to this morning, he said that their plan is to remove all barricades over here. Huh? Yes, May 29th. What name should I look for? Yeah, I got a lot of perspectives, but I'm covering this right now. Okay. All right. I'm around. Just hit me later. So, so what we got right here, like I said, Director Zimbabwe said that um so this is this is rick here talking about no if we're not violent they're not violent we want no okay. violence this is the this is the washington this is the department we want no violence no violence they're not yeah they're, they're not going to attack us yeah don't want to be the violence it's totally peaceful <laughs> So we'll see what's going to happen here. But back to what I was saying, Director Zimbabwe said that it's their plan today to, to remove the cement structures right here. I asked him, I said, is that included just part of the chop footprint? Director Zimbabwe said that what they're doing is they're going to, their plan here today is to remove all the cement uh, structures that are out here. They want to be able to remove all of them. And um, what they've done with the art 
is S. Dot is taking the art and S. Dot is going and cataloging the art. Here's Director Zimbabwe right here. We'll be doing the clean. Excuse me. No, no problem. According, according. Private conversation. No, it's, it's all good. I can respect that, Director. Come talk to us, though, if you can, for the morning show. Hey, Chief, does, 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 does fire have any presence here this morning, or are you just down here uh, it's just popping me and Chief in? Yeah, just popping in. Oh, okay. So it's cool. So we've got a. Um, we've got. Fires right up the street. I just talked to Deputy Chief right there. He said that Fire Chief Scoggins is up the street as well, and they're they're here in an observation role. Yo, I'd just like to let you know that these people. I went up and talked to them. They're Parks and Rec people. They're here to pick up trash. They don't have a crane. They don't have a forklift. They're not here to move barricades. They're here to pick up trash. Okay, so you do realize that the S Dot Director Zimbabwe is right there, and he said that they're here to pick up all the barricades, catalog the art, and reopen traffic today. Huh. That's the that's the director. I mean, I mean I'm just a media guy, but I definitely don't believe everything I hear. But I do go to the source. The guy there in the orange vest is a director. So if you got a question, I mean, I talked to, I talked to the dude over there. well, you know that's two different departments, though, right? S dot. Yeah, S dot. That's the director right there in the orange vest. Why not take it? My mom always says, "Hear it from the horse's mouth." Let him. T <laughs> Man. Oh man! So, and yeah, we 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 have uh, the main people on the ground this morning. Thus far, is S dot and um, S dot and Seattle Parks. So Seattle Parks. So they they've cut off some utilities. My understanding, some utilities over there have been cut off. And uh, S dot, what they're wanting to do is they're wanting to. First, remove the art off the boxes. They want to take the art off the boxes this morning. This is the East Precinct right here behind me on the intersection of 12th and Pine. The very, you know, contentious, um, the very contentious location that um, the epicenter, I guess you would say, a trap as of late. But this is the crown jewel right here, what he said is that today is just uh, one phase, that phase being that they want to remove these cement barricades all around CHOP. Um, but SDOT said it isn't their plan or intention to remove the campers. So that's what uh, what, what the DOT is saying. What's up, Dre? Anything? Just a whole lot of fuckery going on early in the morning, you feel me? You got, look, you see, I'm still waking up, man. I'm sleeping, I hear people screaming. But it ain't really about nothing. I'm not from here, so I don't know the real law enforcement or what they really go by, but right now, I don't see any SPD cars. No, there's no so you up there. There's one, there's an observer down there. There's a, a, a captain, oh, I just saw down there, okay. and he said that they're in an observation role, a support role, but uh, they're not, just like fire. So Chief Scoggins, Fire Chief Scoggins is right one block away mm -hmm. in an observation. I just want to know, like, why, though? Like, don't you want to know why they're here? Well, I did, and I asked why, and I said, why are you here? And Director Zimbabwe said that he's here to remove the barricades. Well, actually, first, to, to, to dismantle the art and catalog the art. Second, and it's going to be in some kind of warehouse where people can pick up. I don't know if they're numbering it or not. But two, to remove the barricades and restore traffic to the area. Three, for parks to be able to service the, the, the park area over there. Four, what he said is that they're removing the barricades, but they're not touching the people who are camped in front of the East Precinct. He said that's another issue. That the barricades are safety. If they move the barricades, they will be dropping a serious guard that we have, not only with the SPD or with any law enforcement, but with people who are a threat to this movement will have an easy way of coming towards us and harming us because they want to end this movement. So they're not 
here to support the movement basically are here to like restore the traffic back to the to this area they're really here to get us out the hard way but they're just trying to say it in a nice way is that what's that's what i got from you just now amari there's people laying down over there in front of the the bulldozer so you can see right over here the directors in Bobway's gathered quite a crowd let me check in over here with him Are they cataloging the art? Have that emergency vehicle access. <laughs> <laughs> I know. I know. Well, no. Please know around. But that that we, we figure out a way to have some some balance of making allowing the the residents and businesses that have been uh, been. Uh, I just got back from challenged over the last I don't know few I weeks. Of course. To, to have a little bit of a little bit of normal. Like and I'm not I'm not saying that there is no normal. I'm not I'm not trying to say normal. Uh, but but make sure that people have normality, make sure and, they feel safe. Well and, and, and it's 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 also like the ability to come and go as, as they as they please too. Which of course. I think you know, I, I know I've talked to folks That's here, that. all of you like you know, nobody's getting stopped. Nobody's sure. getting nobody's getting turned away. Like we totally understand that. But the feeling of the need to come to a checkpoint, at, I mean, even though it's, it's it's people doing it for the perception of safety inside, um, figuring out how we how we don't have that. Yeah, completely understand it. <coughs> for, for the aspect of so, emergency vehicles. Excuse in. me. So what? Uh, <clears throat> that was S. Dot Director Zimbabwe there saying that um, they, hold on. The other thing is he's from the Associated Press filming live and it's going to the world on the biggest media platform. He's from the Associated Press. Yeah. That's the Associated Press going live to the world. So, yeah, man, you guys need to back back off this media. We've been out here trying to tell this story. Oh, now he's all good. Oh, it's the AP. What? They want to sit over there and jump in his face. You know what I'm saying? Glad the Associated Press is out here covering a story like this. Putting their resources to go. It's very expensive on them for their live, man, for their setup. Here goes the AP photographer over here too. It's my man. What's up? I was just I was just telling the crowd over there. They was jumping on your bed, not physically, but I was like, they're like, well, you streaming? Get out there. I was like, man, this is the AP. You know what I'm saying? It's like the biggest media platform in the world. Let that man work. Thank you. Yeah, no, it's all good. You guys got any problem out here with anybody, you come find me, man. Thank you. You, you know, people need to be able to tell their story and what the hell they see it. No matter what network they're with or anything. It's a real deal. Agreed. Thank you for saying that, Amari. Yeah, no, you're welcome. That's the truth, man. Don't matter what network nobody's with, man. You need to be able to be out here and say what it is you need to say, man. So, again, right here, I guess you would call what, what we used to... Uh, Say the eastern, I mean the southern barricade on 12th in between Pine and Pike. As we find right now that there is a protester that's literally laying in the way of the bulldozer. Bulldozers are being brought in today by S. Dot Director Zimbabwe, his team over there, to remove the cement barricades that are now uh, defined the footprint of the chop. He said that their goal today was to actually remove the barricades. Uh, transport the art off site and to catalog the catalog, uh, the art, put it in a warehouse to restore traffic over here. He said at the time that they're, they do not and they are trying not to um, to do anything with the protesters who are sitting out in front of the precinct. And to be honest with you, that's not really a role that S. Dot is proficient in, um, but they are here for. Uh, 
for the roads and transportation. We also got Seattle Parks that's here right now. And we also got Seattle Utilities. My understanding is Seattle Utilities has cut off some of the utility service over through Cal Anderson Park. What we see is that Seattle Parks Department is also temporarily closing the park today at 2 p.m. Why is the park closure at 2 p.m. important? When you say that you're closing the park at 2 p.m.? Um, because if, if the city is actually closing the park and they're saying that the park is closed at 2 p.m., then that sets the case at 2.01 p.m. for uh, a trespassing or potentially um, an unlawful assembly. So we're, we're going to see here what happens as far as the park closure time at 2 p.m. They've posted it there. Anybody who's in there after 2 p.m. very well can face loitering, very well can face um, illegal assembly or unlawful assembly. And I will have to watch the clock and see how that one plays out. Well, good morning. How are you? Doing damn well. How are you? Me, I'm happy every morning if you follow this stream. Good morning. So now we're heading back northbound. This is northbound on 12th, the East Precinct right here. All right, so we're moving back out here. What's up, Rick? Yeah, you know, their plan is to remove all that, right? I know, but that's all we're working with right now. Yeah. I know, I saw you moving the footprint over here. What's up, Nikki? Yeah. I'm not worried about what they doing elsewhere. We trying to preserve Thank you. this. This is what we're here for. Mm -hmm. This is our power source. No okay. violence. Yeah, now I hear you with man, I don't think anybody wants violence, Rick, but what I'm what I'm my question to you is this. It's early in the morning, so if yes, you don't know it's fine. <laughs> Director Zimbabwe said when well, I was out here early, okay. right? Okay. I, even before you were down there, I talked okay. to Director Zimbabwe. He said that his goal here is to remove all the cement around the East Precinct and around the chop. Their goal is to remove all the cement barricades here. We're not letting them. Okay. I'm just you know. We're not letting them. This is what we're preserving right here. So it's your intentions then to hold down these cement barricades right. that outline the East Precinct. That's right. Okay. That's it. All right. I mean, I like always how direct you are, Rick. Is yes or no? <laughs> Be safe out here. Yeah, I'm Omari. Your coverage has been amazing. I just wanted to say thank you. I've been following you for like the last two weeks. Well, thank you. I, I appreciate you. Be safe out here. So we see Dread. He's actually moved his car over here. Um, in an effort to, to, to block the entry from the north into the zone. What's up? I asked you a question. Where's there a Starbucks that's open? You rocking that? It ain't even close, huh? All the shit breaks out. So, do you know any reason why... Um so everything everybody heard was police was coming in. Why would they use man that's on these guys as a foot soldier? But you got no man. I mean, man, this that's misinformation. No, the police then correct me. Then correct me. The police never said they were coming in. No, I know that. One hundred percent. And the mayor and the chief, everybody said the police aren't coming in, but they said they were going to start clearing the park. The information we were getting mm -hmm. was at six fifteen this morning. Right. That, that the utilities was going to come in and everything else. 
So why was all the information people were posting last night about police coming in? Like, that's that's, that's man, my issue. That's because there's hella ignorant protesters, uh, man. I mean, I I talk about this on my morning show. I'm like, you know, you know me. I'm not with. I'm not a protester. I'm not yeah. with the city. But man, I, I have this a high level of ignorance out Can here, I just man. Say something. Like, yeah. My biggest problem with all of this is there's so many people that, that call themselves allies and want to be a part of this that are posting from Facebook and posting from Twitter, but they're not down here. They're putting people at danger. Well, they probably like, work for the. But causing this shit. They probably work for the police. Out. No, they probably work for the police. But here's what I'm saying is, man, this is this has been the most misinformed, one of the most ignorant uh, protests or, or civil action or anything that I've actually covered, especially in this information age where people could just YouTube and be like, man, you know, you could not you per se, but people could YouTube the mayor's press conference. I talked to them, I said, hey, did you guys see what the mayor said? No. Did you guys saw it, see what, what Chief Best says? No. And so then they sit out here, so then they susceptible to anybody who got the best message, because ain't nobody sit out there. I mean, it's real disappointing that, that, that the city of Seattle has been tied up on a lot of stuff, man, but out of the ignorance. I would be like, you know, these people would be like, man, you know, there's a very sharp group of protesters. They follow everything. And that's not all protesters, but the amount of misinformation that's been out here has been crazy you know what i'm saying i mean it is dangerous it's hella dangerous That's for everybody fair. here for, for for protesters for media for people who live in the neighborhood it's been dangerous bro that's why we sit out here with all these bulletproof vests and everything you know what i'm saying no it's all good i mean you know me i just keep call it as i see it you know what i'm saying <clears throat> we've been saying excuse me for the last few days the guy when guys go read something you know what i'm saying and figure it out all right. Be safe. God bless you. Have we ever had an emergency vehicle inside here? Ever. Ever. We've had police to get them to come. No, because they jacked us off and they cost us a fucking life. And do you, do you so that's very fucking upsetting. Vehicles at this point. They hear it. They all, uh, just as we can't represent our full community, these people not represent our community. What's up, man? Yeah, I'm gonna tell you something now. No matter how you feel about this situation right there, right here, at least Zimbabwe sat out here, he's facing people, he's talking to people, criticism or not, everything else. You know what I'm saying? I think people remember who's here, no matter how this plays out. Zimbabwe's here, Scoggins up the street, Utilities is out here. These are the people who've been out here. No barricades are moved today. Might as well go home. Nice call. You guys came a little. That was nice. Nice try. Nice and early enough. Uh, you guys need to become more correct. Yep. Any, anywhere else around the field, we can't, we can't tell that. We tell them. That was a whole week that these niggas were going to be between four and six. So you're and that's proposing all I that we remove you that fucking precinct. Uh, just, you have else to do you have to do that? Do you have to do that? Be vigilant of that. See, like, that's what I'm saying. What do you, like, no barricades are removed today. Uh-huh. So you need more open road for what? Is that? Can somebody get this car coming down the road? All the trucks to come on the camera. So is this not open enough for vehicles to come through? Do you need to remove more barricades? Is this not enough room? Two cars could. You guys, watch out! Watch out! Clear the street! Clear the street! Clear the street! Come on, bro! Like, I like, I'm all for the respect for the guys, but you might as well go home, you guys. Seriously, go home because they're not moving any barriers today, and I promise you that. So go home. <laughs> I promise you, you're not moving any vehicles in here or any barriers today. I give you that word that that's not going to happen, so go home. We're, we're trying, you know, my goal throughout this process has been to... I know, 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 I
From what office? From the mayor's office. Well, she should have the biggest voice out here. It is. If she's representing the mayor. She should have the biggest totally voice out there. Huh? Well, I mean, that's, that's what I'm saying. It's, it's, I mean, Zimbabwe over here, everybody's on Zimbabwe's head. But this is the representative of the mayor right here. Let's see if we can get a statement. Excuse me. You're from the mayor's office? What's happening? I mean, you're the one people should be talking to, though. That's Zimbabwe. I'm a slightly angry, you know, but I just have an agreement with you guys talking with um, the slight department. Today is not the day to move barriers. I just want you guys to block away from the slight department, and I need them to get a lighter to them so before he commits suicide. That they don't have to contact 24 months. Yeah, but, but, but you guys need to look at the hierarchy of a situation and then know who to talk to. Everybody here falls under from over there. So Stephanie from the mayor's office, that's Director Zimbabwe right there. People are asking, is the SPD planning on moving in here today? There's the questions no. that I'm getting here on the feed. I talked to a captain earlier. He he confirmed the same thing. Thank you. No, not today. Everything's staying. Nothing's getting removed today. So there's a representative from the mayor's office. That's Sam Zimbabwe. He's the director of SDI. You guys have seen Sam out here, though. We we talked to Sam a lot for the last three last three weeks. The last last three weeks. So nothing being moved today at all. Nothing at all. See? That's fine. Do not do not call but, that situation. Hey, we have a medicine. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. What? Medicine and security will handle that. Okay. Consensus, right? That you all will talk as leadership, right? And then come up to a term. So from what I'm hearing is that the but, <laughs> version of what you guys but, are in the press where we can sign on lines or whatever the case is that this should put a record because I've got a, I've got a question though. I, I got, I, I got, I got, I got, a, I got a question right here. If we've, if we've got the office and the mayor and S dot, and we've got people who are on the ground, and you're negotiating right now over the barricade, what's prevented the city of Seattle, S dot, and you guys that are here from negotiating about this beforehand? But no, I didn't say make a decision today. I said, why haven't you guys, if you're willing to negotiate today, why weren't you willing to negotiate yesterday or the day before? No, it's not a stupid question. If you're going to negotiate about this right now. Let's keep this one. Let's bring it down. Okay, let's bring it back in. All right, let's just bring it back in. We're, we're getting man, that's wild. I don't know, man. I think... The, the point of decision making and everything else is at a different spot right now because if if now everybody is out here and I don't know if S dot or whoever thought that you know I mean an early start meant that they were going to get everything through but if now they're willing to negotiate people both sides are at the table then it didn't take all of this you see what I'm saying we could have talked yesterday if 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 the protesters are willing to give up space then they could have organized the giving up of the space yesterday and without endangering anybody from SDOT, from Seattle Parks, from anything else. You see what I'm saying? That's wild, man. That's, that's incredible. In, in, incredible, man. I mean, it, it, come on, man. Who's doing negotiating on both sides? You know, that's what I used to do, man. Business development. Still making on a big scale. What we see, what we see right here, is that now everybody's trying to negotiate the barrier removal, what barriers are get moved, and everything else. If you can be at the table right now, that means you could have been at the table yesterday. That's the, the, you get what I'm saying? If you can be at the table right now, that means you could have been at the table yesterday. And. 
Right. Well, there. I mean, so they're the S dots here, and they're moving the barricades or whatever else. Yeah, well, they're all, they're down there. They're, so I just asked, asked the mayor's people. I just asked the police. I talked to I talked to a, a captain over here that I know as well. He said that they're not here. They're only here for support. But like, if if it, if it gets funky in here, then it's whatever. But no, but the but the whole point of what I'm saying about this is if man, this this don't make no sense. In the sense that if they're negotiating, if they've stopped moving these cement barriers and they're now negotiating and the protesters are telling them what cement barriers that they're willing to give up and everything else, why didn't they just have a meeting yesterday, two days ago? Pull out a map of the barricades and be like, look, man, okay, it's this and that. Well, I mean, but 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 this is this is what I'm saying, though, man. This is where people just drop the ball on this, man, from all sides. 100%. As somebody who's been out here covering this for weeks... Man, God damn. Well, I'm just saying that it's like, I mean, the the people need a resolution, protesters need a resolution, but if they're negotiating right now and there's a willingness, I just had the same conversation yesterday, 100%. <clears throat> they could have agreed as to what they were going to do. It's just, it's bad. That's a non-negotiable. Yeah, yeah. Secondly, it's okay to bring in some outreach services yeah, and start yeah, working with those yeah. persons in the park. Yeah, but they got to check in with us first. So Who's the us? So give us the us so we know. You three. The, right, we're going to yeah, focus right there. They're going to focus and work directly with y'all. So everybody that's going to be coming through here, we're assuming that whether it's SDOT in the future, whether it's City Light, they got to fix out lights, anybody yeah. should be negotiating with you three. Yes. You have the all authority three. to. All you have three, the authority. Not just one of you right, three, all right. Three. No, I'm saying all three. No, As all three. You right. Your all unit. Three. Your unit. Pardon me. Wait. Your unit. Your unit. Let your unit. Your unit. Right. Let you all. Finish. All of this is a unit. This is unity. That's what a unit is. Right. So you guys are the point of contact. You're the point of contact. Uh, we understand that. No doubt. I know. I see you all day. Right. We will discuss this person. No, don't touch me, bro. Don't touch me. Put your hands over me. There are many black leaders that have been here that are not. I'm not negotiating with and nobody over one. here, bro. Nobody over here, bro. And I'm gonna get real crazy, bro. If I don't know what's going on, bro. I wanna know what's going on. Here, bro. Why don't you just let him come in and hear? Why don't you let him? Why not just three people? Not just two. No, then you guys, well, well, you guys can figure that out. You, you all can figure that out. Hey, let's talk. Let's talk. Keep talking. Keep talking. You guys can figure that out. Keep talking. Keep talking. Keep talking. We, that's a, so we want to one just gain access to be able to figure out what barriers and so forth. You take once you decide. We want to have resources that are going to come in and help the people in the park eventually put them into some type of housing, okay? And then be able to clean the park because it, it's got some needles, all kind of stuff, right? So that's our goal, okay? And then identify the short term just what barriers and everything you all are comfortable with taking down for medical access. Them are the three things where we want to explore in depth with y'all. So moving forward, if y'all can convene with your committees and you talk about that, and we can get back to you this afternoon, and you guys let us know what you're talking about. Or even on homelessness, I think that we did want people to at eight o'clock. And is that okay? Just add that. So let's make up. Let's open these negotiations again. One day, six, seven a.m. tomorrow. Oh, hey, what are we talking? You're not going to force your hand, yeah? If you're going to get consensus, yeah. Exactly. You understand that we're talking to the three of us, but we won't move forward until we talk to everyone. Respect. 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 Yeah, respect. So, well, I'm here every day. So it does. Right. I, I'm here every day. So I mean, but if you all can come to a to, today, we're going to be in at eight with the homeless services that we talked about. Okay? Yeah, the homeless services. Every day, I'm here. Every day. I'm here. We'll talk later. Hold on. We'll talk. Wait just one. They're all at the city. All three of these guys are at the city. Yeah, this is. She represents the mayor's office. This gentleman right here represents public utilities. The gentleman in front of you represents uh, Department of Transportation. He's a director. She's a he's the director. Yeah, that's no problem. That's what I'm here for. To gain information and give information. Okay, that's three days from now. If you guys come back with it written, with it written for us, yeah.
okay? But we need time to talk to our people. We're not gonna, we're just a form of contact, like you said, right? Mm -hmm. Point of contact. You making it sound like talk. you might have to make a meeting with everybody. Hey, bro. look, bro. Focus on this conversation, please. We need to talk to the people that are protesting with us. Yeah, that's decide what they're talking about. So 72 hours, you guys come back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Men, today right. cries. Yeah. 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 We can talk about it. 72 hours, you feel me? It's not a, you can't tell none of the days. I think, I think today is where I need to We want to talk to somebody from, we're going to wait to talk to somebody from the mayor's office right here. We'll get some kind of understanding. We want y'all to be here. So only so the only people coming back at twelve noon today is you guys, the outreach people. But I mean, the other decision for the eight, 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 eight or up on the hill. Eight, 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 the, but as far as the barricades, yeah, seventy-two hours. You guys discuss too what ones you're comfortable with. Because when we meet, we want to make more for action after that, okay? And we want to make sure that you guys are comfortable with the services. That's the wildest shit I've ever seen. Can we say noon just to get again? Yeah, yeah, we say noon. Yeah, so we can just talk to everyone, make sure they're not scared. Again, just talk to them. Yeah, it's good to shake all the tents. Yeah, nobody's gonna get kicked out. Yeah, no, you know, that's important. But that's another thing on the record. They're not kicking nobody out. They're coming to no, their job is to come and provide a service for our homeless fraction of Man, our protest. Is, so yeah, we'll be coming back Let me tell you something. This is this is one of the wildest things that I've seen. Because this is if if what's what's occurring if what's occurring is now S dot comes, S dot comes over here to remove barricades. Protesters come out. Protesters and the uh, representative from the mayor's office, public utilities, and S dot have negotiation. They're negotiating here in the street as to now what time, who's going to do what. Man, these conversations could have been happening. Especially if the city is now is is going and they're like, okay, we're gonna wait to hear from you. I mean, this this is wild. And also, the other thing is, S S dot Public Utilities Chief Scoggins, man, they've always been able to come over here and actually work with people. So it's like, man, it's just wild. Oh no, hey, it's wild, man. We're gonna wait to get a comment over here from the mayor's representative. So, so now, I mean, all of, all of these guys, what I can say about uh, the, this protest group here is that, I mean, for the most, they've been open for all kinds of like operational and logistical uh, uh, negotiations the whole time. So them vehicles act okay, like the, the minimum we to be removed off that portion. Because that. Yeah. they're on our drinking water. And everybody in this city lives off of that. Yeah. So yeah. Well, we, can, we, can, we can talk about the minimum But again, please give us some water. We'd like to identify where that drinking water is. I'll show you all. Like we said, we can actually get started. Yeah. Thank you. And also, thank you for being concerned for the city. Thank you. 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 Thank you.
in Seattle against SPD. Thank you for standing in solidarity with us. Like, we're fun of people. Yeah. Appreciate y'all. Yeah. 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 So we got people from the, from the mayor's office. Excuse me, ma'am. So, how are you? Uh, you got it. The sun's bouncing off every. So, my question to you is this: and to the mayor's office, is that th this particular group of people right here, this particular group of people right here, these protesters. These, these are the same protesters, the director Zimbabwe, that um, director, director over at Utilities and Chief Scoggins have been meeting with for three weeks. This group of protesters right here have shown themselves to be extremely flexible. They always communicate and everything else. Why did the city just talk to these? If, if you guys are going to make a compromise now at six something in the morning, why didn't you just talk to them yesterday and draw out a map and make a compromise? So you guys think that coming in at 5.30 in the morning to, to, to go and do that is the best way as opposed to, I'm just letting you know, Director Zimbabwe talks to these people all the time. And uh, not maybe that it's his job. You don't, you think that coming in at 5.30 in the morning as opposed to the director coming out here maybe the last two days saying, hey guys, it's Black Wellness Day on Friday, this is what we want to do? What? I'm just saying nobody knew uh, as far as whatever I mean we got lots of messages a lot of media people some of these people here we knew where you were coming you know what I'm saying but all I'm saying is if you guys were, were coming here and you've got a relationship and what I'm I'm not putting it on you directors and I'm just saying someone like you has a relationship and you you have all these intentions to do good things out here which it sounds like then why not if you're going to negotiate with these guys anyway why not just negotiate your entry to do that we've been working with them for the past few days we've had i mean i think dozens of folks out here saying we really want to get folks in here we want to I saw that we we help we help put the message out on Broadway and Pine the canopy everything yep. And I, I think we have noticed, too, some of these the best new barriers have gone up on 13th. The new barrier went up. That barrier is not being used over there. And how do, again, do we create an entire community that people can come and they can demonstrate and they can make their voice heard? And at the park, we've just seen an increase of individuals who may need services. They definitely need services out. I can tell you myself, that's what we talk about, is a lot of people out there need services out here. I mean, one last thing. I know it's other, other people here. One last thing for, for, for me is it like if if you guys are going to come because there's there's a lot of people who watch this they want this taken care of they want this move they just saw the city of seattle s dot the parks out here come start what they were doing and now stop so what do you have to say to people who literally watched this live since 538 saw bulldozers and everything moving in and now you guys are stopping well we're going to be bringing as you may have heard folks in into the park Again, our focus has been community wellness, services, health care, free testing uh, for individuals. So we are, again, I think the uh, demonstrators did say that they are okay with individuals coming in to really offer those services. Hey, Sam, Stephanie, I have a question. So, so I know... Zimbabwe, can you well, explain at this point what workers from your department are doing? Um, <sighs> Man, every time I think I get to sleep in... <laughs> so anyway, the, the, they're, they're talking over there. I take a step back. I got the questions that I wanted, but uh, uh, oh, I know what they think. But you know, I can continue to ask. Thank you. Uh, and then how you guys feel about these guys moving these barriers? Is it something you're all right with? 
Yeah, why do they want to do it Now all of a sudden they want to take that shit down? What's the fuck? I thought this was about safety. Fucking, they, give they, us, they do don't give a shit no more. Well, why do they want to do it? Yeah, what's the deal? Why? Why would they not respect oh. it? Oh, kind of thought that might have been the sentiment, but you know, I'm gonna continue to ask people how they feel. So we got two. I mean, it, it, it's like you got two issues out here now because, well, we've got way more than two. But on one side, on one side of things, though, you've got, you've got the protesters. You know, who are like, oh, okay, people are coming here early morning or whatever to take their, their whatever, the, the barricades. But on the flip side of this, you've other got also other people <clears throat> who might live on Capitol Hill or just the city of Seattle who are like, oh, okay, well, the city's coming in, they're moving the barricades. And then, it, you know, um, at the moment, we've got an impasse. So, what's up, fam, bam? Good to see you. So it's it's just it's just interesting here. Sorry. I know what I'm talking about. Excuse me, sorry about that. Sir. I know what I'm talking about. Talk about you gonna put people and get resources. There's no resources. I call for no money. What about all the homes? Which 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 of the protest demands is the mayor going to meet for yeah, Black Community exactly. Wellness Day? Are they going to defund the Seattle Police Department by 50% or 5% as Durkin suggested? Well, thanks for that question. Uh, we have been looking at the SPD budget and we welcome any ideas from it? you all of what are specific I'll things in the SPD budget. Demilitarize the police. That, uh, may Demilitarize the police. Take Stop the away. mass evictions, aka sweeps, that Durkin has been a proponent of for a long time. Take a major do. portion of the police budget. The there, are, there are many ideas and we've been, I've been organizing this city for eight years. Me and my friends have been in city council telling you these ideas. Please don't pretend like you don't know these ideas, like we haven't been telling them to you, and then roll up at 5.30 in the morning when everyone is tired and phones are dead and act like that's a good faith gesture and, act, and talk to us about those ideas and say, oh, we couldn't possibly know what those ideas are worth. Exactly. You know those ideas. You can defund the SPD by 50%. You can meet our demands for Black Community Wellness Day, whatever you're calling it. Right? Sorry. Excuse no, you me. Go, or no you can continue <laughs> to act oh. that's and bring people in at 5.30 in the morning without any warning. That is wow. I don't know, man. <clears throat> My whole analysis on all of this is that if the city, if the, if the city had a, a willingness to negotiate, which, which they've just done, the city came in here, SDOT came in here with uh, the barricades, with everything here, right? They, they, came in, they came in here with everything, and they were moving stuff. But then the city stopped moving stuff to now negotiate, and they're negotiating footprint, and they're negotiating services. Then why didn't they? They could have came out here yesterday and then really been like, hey, look, guys. We're coming and we're reducing your footprint. We're sending the services. And it would have been the same conversation. But they could have, they could have, if this was what the outcome was. Ain't nobody. Hey, it's good to see you, family. I'm, I'm sorry they woke you up so early. You know what I'm saying? Um, no coffee open yet, huh? All right, so hold on. Let me go check out my girl, Didi. My people from Cairo. Where is she at? Trying to digest the news. Yeah. Yeah. Distance, distance, and, and no negativity. We need positivity. Hey, hey, okay, let them talk. Let them talk. Let them talk. Now we're going to get through something that we don't want to talk about. Our people would be wanting to provide the services of doing cleaning, but we would love to do it under your approval. We have so many bodies that are here willing to clean, willing to make sure the city looks right. But, we, but a part of this is proving to the to Seattle, to, to the world, really, that we can do these things ourselves. We don't want to look like victims. 
no doubt. So if, with your guidance, we'll do the cleaning. Mm -hmm. We'll do the cleaning. We don't need the city to be doing that, right? right. We'll yeah. do the I'm from Minnesota, so I, yeah. we do follow. So that's well, super, we can do it together. Yeah. How about that? Because we 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 want to work with you also, and, and that's the objective why we're down here. Okay. So we we can do it together. First, we're gonna we're gonna see if we can't do it by we're gonna with your guidance. I mean, because right? I'm saying like we're here for the same reasons. We provide public health, safety, and services, and not all aspects are just SPD. We provide with sanitation. We provide later. We provide garbage collection. So that's part of our mission as and a then, city. And then as you come in, then you come with come with us as protesters and as pro, as, uh, as individuals, members of the city. Absolutely. Right. Well, without, we're without humans first. Exactly, we're humans first. Exactly. Without yeah, police presence. Without police presence nope. to help clean up and everything. That's what I'm saying. We were humans before we were our city title. Yeah. Okay. You know what? Yeah. Yeah. Wait, 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 wait. Wait. I'm not I speaking to, to him right now. Right. Right on. I appreciate that. Don't seem to think we're not that coming way. with and the police. Not we're not. Know, that's, so let's focus is, on the, the discussion is, right it's now. It's not okay? just the police. It's actually a lot of people out there that have been following suit with that for a long and time. And that's so unfortunate. We that's that not as a human right, race. We get right. looked at as just a species of something that needs to be dealt with. And as that, I do not appreciate respect, that. Respect. So we don't really need anybody telling us what needs to be done because we're smart. We can tell ourselves what we needs to be done. Every we need to take some responsibility and look at the situation. Because I'm tired of this oppression. The oppression is consistent. It's too late at night for some of us. I know. Hey. It has become somewhat difficult to get in contact with our mayor. We've offered actually. Right. Yeah. Yeah. So in order to, the main reason why we're here is to get those demands met. Mm -hmm. She knows where we are. Yeah, she knows where we are. Where we are. Again, even myself, who was there on that doorstep, who you met that day, yeah. I've been calling the Dominic Seeds. I've been calling people like we, the, the, the call was stopped. So, you, being so what I'm hearing, you all have a community that we can sit down because this is the man. It's going to take yes. some long-term planning. Yeah, it's exactly. going to take long-term planning. Now we have the committee. And it doesn't seem reasonable to sweep our hair into all that. Exactly. So we have to come to a common ground and understanding that that's the goal, that's the mission, but we're going to have to reconvene and you guys are going to have to have a committee that's going to be hard set for making long-term changes. And so they, they, I think that I think that it's two things. Yeah, I think it's two things. Yes, of course we understand that some of these changes will take time, mm -hmm. but there are certain things that are on those demands that are immediately actionable, such as those 73 officers that are still yep. on in the force of SPD well, that have multiple charges yeah, against. Sure I was, uh, that's an immediate thing that can be done. I was going to say the exact same thing. Yeah. Yeah. And, 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 and with, and with that council, exactly. I've got another point to what you're saying, which is freeing all the protesters as well. As well, yep. that's immediately yeah. after. No, and, and, and beyond that, actually, yes. amnesty, amnesty for protesters, yep. not just and kidding. You, you are the record. You guys, we'll provide that list. We have that list. You put that yeah. on, yeah. and then we can negotiate and come up with a And I got one more point. We have provided that. It's all also working yeah. long-term changes. Exactly, exactly. exactly. As well as regular check-ins as we know. That's what yes, I do. What? <laughs> have, you, have you ever sent a daughter from home or is it just a zoom? Come on, bro. Come on, bro. We we it, sounds like, it sounds like we are officially at the time, which everyone's negotiating a zoom. I have a question. Oh, we're good. I have a question. Are you guys yeah. trying to change the system as well? You can look that up on your watch. The system. Because yeah. I've noticed that I had to go to a zoom. The police. Their purpose is to serve and protect, right? Yes. And we agree with their purpose, but we do not agree with them because of what they've been doing. They have not been serving and protecting. They've actually been harassing and abusing. We have right. harassing and murdering. So we want to address that. Being as such, I would like to make it known that I wish that the police would have more supervision when it comes to their training to make sure that they're actually following their training because when they're on these streets, they disregard all of it. And that's where the harassment steps in, and I'm tired of this. And at some point, we're going to fight back. We've been peaceful, but you're pushing us to the edge. And as you can see, as a black people, as a whole, we have been calm. If you haven't noticed. So we are not living up to the stereotypes that we're violent and dumb. Because you see how calm we've been? So yeah, I'm gonna chime in here in a minute, because this is um, it's a lot to unpack, as they say, in a second. Yeah, 
So it looks like <clears throat> they're going into ideological things over there, so we're going to give them some space. But, I mean, the, the big takeaways from this right now are, like, one, you know, I mean, SDOT came here at, at 5.30 this morning. We had, I mean, there was a big tip-off for a lot of people. Um, you know, we, got, we started getting messages last night and everything else, but, you know, you can't confirm that, so, you know, we just don't push stuff out but anyways they came in 5 30 this morning and began to disassemble the barricades and there goes chief scoggins right there there's fire chief scoggins uh i mean and, and chief scoggins is actually this the, you know the the third of the three amigos between fire between um between uh dot and public utilities we see fire chief scoggins has now arrived over here and again, I mean, you know, I, I don't know why the mayor reduced his footprint in regards to conversation and communication because Chief Scoggins was very much the biggest and also the, 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 the most ranking credible messenger that the city of Seattle had on the scene. He's the fire chief. We talked about somebody who... Uh, <clears throat> We talk about somebody, you see over fist bumping people, you know, everybody over. Some of the Chief Scoggins has been somebody who carries a lot of weight and no baggage. When you bring in some people over here, um, they actually have a lot of baggage, you know, and it's the baggage that gets cut through. So a lot of the conversations that you hear right now where people are like, you know, systemic change and this and that, uh, that's because it's somebody who's over there, you know, at the mayor's office. So you can't cut through beyond like the short kind of conver the, the ideologue conversation. Chief Scoggins, again, somebody who carries a lot of weight and no baggage as a fireman. You know what I'm saying? Who don't like a fireman? You feel me? Um, and why he's, you know, whatever reasons Chief Scoggins ain't involved in the everyday anymore. And this he built a, a, a very big rapport over here with the, the the protesters so i don't know if it was optics down in the mayor's office if the chief was just getting too much shine so they shut him down or whatever but you know what i'm saying i mean he was from day one excuse me brother from day one the chief's just man and so excuse me chief just want to shake your hand this morning good to see you sir uh, yeah it, it went fast though <laughs> Uh, this is our fire chief right there, Chief Scoggins. And like I said, our fire for the city of Seattle, people watching outside of Seattle, our, our fire chief Scoggins and uh, Director Zimbabwe from DOT, Hari Mara from, from Utilities, those are people who every day, um, you know, walk the chop. And they walk the chop and they were out here in the chop and they knew people and everything else. You see what I'm saying? Um, why those kind of conversations stopped you know what i'm saying you still you still store some spu out here but why the conversation stopped why the chief you know what i'm saying was no longer involved you didn't you stopped seeing the chief out here on the street and everything else and like i said that's the city of seattle's biggest credible messenger right there and i don't like i said i don't know why they pulled him back but but they did that they, they pulled him back you know what I'm saying? I mean, and that's a voice people know they can trust. And you see even right now, here's how cold it is right now, right? Let me break this down to you. This Chief Scoggins is, has the, the, well, the highest ranks, right? And it's always been regarded by anybody out. You talk to any protesters, anybody, as somebody who, who, who they trust, who they respect, who they think is honest, and they, who you think is fair. Look at this. Look who's not in the circle having the discussion. Look who's not, do you, hey, do you notice that too? You notice that too? How, how, yeah, you notice that too, how Chief, Chief Scoggins is the only one who's not in the discussion. But this is the guy, you know, and man, 
and, and what they said when when I asked when I asked the deputy chief earlier, I said, "Man, are you guys here an official?" He was like, "Man, we're just here to observe." And so, I mean, it's, that'll just tell you right there, as in like what's going on down at City Hall, where you got the most respected person from the city side in, the, in this whole thing since the chop form, Fire Chief Scoggins right there. And here you go, the conversation's right over there. Um, that's the representative from the mayor's office. But it's, 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 a, it's crazy how, and I'm not saying people should be talking to someone from the mayor's office, but it's like Chief Scoggins is bifurcated over there. You see what I'm saying? He's the credible messenger. He's the messenger. Yeah, of course he's coming. You see what I'm saying? I mean, when you put truth on the stream, people move. That's just that's the, point, that's the point of the stream. That's the credible messenger right there. You don't know, have some kind of conversation and the chief is over there. You know what I'm saying? And I walked all these blocks out here and built these relationships. You got out here and you want to put him out there like he's some kind of stepchild. And he's been the person who's actually built up, you know what I'm saying, trust on the city's behalf and everything else. That's what I'm saying. It's frustrating watching how things just operate around here, man. I'll be honest with you. I don't get frustrated often, man. But it's frustrating to see how it's operating around here. You know, all optics downtown. It's all optics, man. You know, you guys could actually show, man, just, just show some sincerity. Stop worrying about the camera. Show some sincerity, man. It's like, damn. And if they were just going to end up negotiating like they're doing today anyway, like they're doing today anyway, then, man, they could have went up to Firehouse 25 and sat down with the chief and everybody else. Like, oh, at the end of the day, that's all they doing is, man, this is wild. Yeah, and this is what I'm saying. So anybody who's on the stream, right, let me explain. Whether you're on the side of these guys need to get everything out of here right now, or you're on the side that you're sympathetic to the protesters, what you just seen right here today is, is, is a whole lot of resource, a whole lot of whatever, just to say, hurry up and wait. You see what I'm saying? So if, if you were somebody who's like, oh man, they're in here, public services is in here, they're getting ready to clear this out and everything else, and now it comes down to an ideological conversation. This is what happens when, when you got no weight and a lot of baggage, is conversations devolve and everything else. You know what I'm saying? They 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 devolve. Hey man, get these guys their space, man. They need they need their man. They need their space. Let them communicate. You know what I'm saying? Hey, it's good to see Chief Scoggins next to you. Just to let you know. I need to stop playing, man. saying watch yourself anyways Man, that's nothing over there. Those are canned answers. That's CNN right there. Dan Simon from CNN right there, the, uh, the tall one, the black shirt. This is, this is literally, this is literally once again, the city of Seattle getting pushed out the chop. Y'all didn't think guys downtown and protesters here you guys didn't think like, man, let's just sit down and, and have a discussion on, on the logistics and everything else, a back channel, all this stuff, helicopters are in the air, everything else. Eh. Like if y'all need a place to meet or something, man, to hammer these things out, let me know. Facilitate it. You need some facilitation around this. But like, man, what we're seeing this morning <clears throat> is wild. And so, you know, S. Dot was in. Now it looks like S. Dot is out. Seattle Parks, 
was in. Seattle Parks is out. It looks like at 12 o'clock, they're gonna reassess the situation and they're gonna talk about social workers coming in and uh, public utilities. They want some cars to move because the cars are on a water main. And we'll see if the, if the cars that get moved off the water main, I think that's probably an easy thing for them to do. And, <clears throat> and a few other things. Why these guys haven't, didn't, like I said, why they didn't have their credible messenger down here. <clears throat> why they didn't have Chief Scoggins. He's here now. We see him. Highest ranking, most respected, least baggage person the city could have down here. Comes in, you know what I'm saying? So they'll go and discuss, which is good. But you see, you see right there that the, the big issue that they're having is around the optics and the communication. And we'll see. Maybe they're going to be able to figure it out. So as for now, S. Dot's chilling. It's my guys. Any of you guys on the pothole crew? Man, those guys are wild, right? Be hanging off the truck, everything. Those are the only people who don't have to wear nothing, no kind of uniform. I think they be making their shirts at home. You know what I'm saying? Pothole, everybody loves the pothole crew, man. You know what I'm saying? Huh? Oh, you got, yeah, man, you got to tell them, man, the pothole guys are wild, man. I would hate to see them in a regular uniform because them cutting up all their stuff and everything, that's their swag. Yeah, no, I bet it does. I bet it does. So, uh, as we can see, you know, Chief Scoggins has now come out here. Chief Scoggins has very much been the city of Seattle's credible messenger when it comes to this situation here. He has a firehouse one block away, Firehouse 25. He's been out here from the beginning where we called the three amigos was uh, Fire Chief Scoggins, Director Zimbabwe from SDOT, and Hari Mara from Public Utilities. And what we saw here um, is that in the last few days, those messages weren't occurring. Now, what I'm going to point out to you is what happened here today is a negotiation. So that means that a negotiation could have happened yesterday. But instead, they, everybody showed up here at 530. You know what I'm saying? Which is it's a long work day. It's understandable to get an early start for these guys. But if they're negotiating right now as a, to which barrier to move here and there, that means there was an openness for negotiation if they just sat down yesterday and then actually could came in here with a plan. And they're like, man, this group right here has been negotiating with the city. The, the group that the city has now just said they're going to negotiate with, they've been negotiating with fire, with public utilities, and with SDOT for, for two and a half weeks now. So it isn't like just some random whatever. They've constantly, even this barricade design that you see right here was approved by these groups of people you know what i'm saying and so the design the design that we see out here everything came from meeting and negotiation and if, if they end up sitting s dot home today you know what i'm saying and then they're gonna say now they're gonna negotiate the, the guy the guy said now they're gonna negotiate and that's that Well, police are here in, in an observation role, so we already kind of knew how that was going to go out here. You know what I'm saying? So we need to make sure they get their trucks out of here and make sure these officers do not get inside. This is them. This is Chester. We're talking about. So these officers are not getting inside. They will stay with us. They're not going inside of the shop. You said cops were not coming today. Not coming today. If there's cops here, so no. We can trust you, right? They said they said the police were not entering today. We said that the police were here in observation, and that's exactly, exactly. That's what yeah. I, I have it's been like, They're here in observation. No, I understand. I, I understand. I understand. The police are here in observation, and that's what they said. So, so, the, so what these guys were saying was that, okay, the police are coming in. But I talked to the officer over here. Actually, this is, this is his precinct, the officer right there on the left, and speaking to him about 45 minutes ago, said that they were, were going to be at an observational point right over here. You know what I'm saying? 
And so, oddly enough, we had I, I, we were on the other side of the barricade every day. Me, me, and uh, and and this officer right here, when the Western Barricade was still up. So you know what I'm saying. <laughs> but you guys were leaving. Why didn't y'all not show up? Lieutenant Brooks, have a wonderful day. But you showed up to the Leave the area. After we had already taken, after we had already taken the victim to the hospital. Have a good day, officers. Fuck the police. Fuck off. Y'all don't come back. Man, I'm going to tell you, I'm going to tell you this. Did I mean, we'll see. I want to talk to the mayor's office more, but you know what I'm saying? I think poor... Poor planning out here and lack of communication with everybody. Look, man, you know what I'm saying? It puts the police in a strange. It looks the police in a bad situation out here. It puts all these things in a in a, in a bad situation. It puts, you know, S dots out here. There's hella people. I don't. I'm just. Which way? Clear the street. Clear the street. Clear the street. The people who this who the city are negotiating with right now about barricade uh, placement are the same people. That they've been negotiating with for 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 like two weeks, meaning that they could have sat down yesterday over it, you know, cup of coffee and been like, man, this is our plan, this is whatever, this is what we need to do X, Y, and Z. Because honestly, they wanted to give up their give up the park anyway. They wanted to give up the park anyway. I mean, and, and if they knew that the uh that the east precinct is going to be contentious it's like it's impossible for it not to be you knew it was going to be contentious but they're negotiating with the same people that they've been negotiating as far as as logistics as far as logistics and everything else so we've we've got it's two officers out here so i mean there's a lot of truck i mean man how much money is being wasted right now i city all these trucks everybody ready to go and then everything stops on a negotiation right there, on a negotiation that could have happened before. Because you're just negotiating with the same people who you've been negotiating with around operations. This is what I'm saying, is that conversation isn't new. And when they move like that, it's not fair to anybody on the ground. Now, it's a fair situation. It's not fair over here to these guys. It's not fair to SDOT, to Parks, anybody else out here. But most importantly, to the taxpayers who's, you know, Hey, you, did you see this, bro? Like, why they go through all of this? Why would they go through all of this? You see what I'm saying? And now, on top of that, here's here's the biggest thing. I don't know what they was thinking downtown, but on top of that, listen, two days ago with that fake tweet talking about whatever it closed down, it propelled so much energy onto the chop. The chop was, man, it was decline, decline, decline. That tweet came out, boom, the chop goes back up. Now, they're out here. They're leaving. It's on national and international news. It's Friday on Capitol Hill. What's the energy like going to be like up here now? Yeah, I mean, and for the protesters, they repelled the city. Look at this. I mean, there were so many s dot people trucks after truck after truck after truck and so now these guys over here living in tents have pushed the city of seattle out on their uh, uh other space you got bulldovers forklift drivers everything yeah what's up man yeah they're all parked and armed in their cars she specifically said that cops are not coming well, so to be, all right, so I got this one. So here comes more officers right here. But my understanding is, as the police said, that they were not coming into the chop today. So there, there's a difference. But anyway, so, it, you know, that's what he's there. But, um, but as to what I, what I heard them say is that they were not trying to enter the space. And where they're at right there is not in the space. I mean, just call it like I see it, you know?
Wow. So again, to set the scene for you right here, we're on 12th and Pike <clears throat> in Capitol Hill in Seattle, Washington, United States of America, um, in an area that is called the Chop. And today is day uh, 29th of our continuous coverage of protest Seattle. Uh, what we saw here this morning about 5.30 a.m., Seattle Department of Transportation is being bolstered by Seattle Parks um, and Seattle Public Utilities entered into the chop and began to disassemble cement barriers and stage for the actual sweeping out of the park at, um, uh, uh, at Cal Anderson Park. Um, as SDOT began to remove the art off of the boxes, protesters began to wake up and... Um, they faced some resistance earlier. There were there were people that were laying down in front of the bulldozers that are there in place to 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 um, remove the cement barriers. As we see now, S. Dot is actually leaving the scene. Um, and then once everything stopped, it appeared to be a negotiation there, right there in the middle of the street between some of the protesters that have been here on the ground and and also someone from the mayor's office and Sam Zimbabwe. Um, and what they're saying is that, you know, they're leaving the area now. They're going to come back at 12 o'clock. They're going to make a determination around some barricades. They also want to be able to bring in services and everything else. But, um, yeah, my, like I said, my observation is, is that the same people the guys are negotiating with um, on logistics. So what people should understand is the logistics conversation and the political conversation is two different conversations. Logistics and operations, since the day that the police left the East Precinct, since the day they left the East Precinct, 100%, um, there's been constant communication and negotiation between uh, fire, s dotting utilities, and protesters. Now, some of the faces of the protesters have changed now over the time the people have been on the ground, but... Those negotiations have always been there. They've always been ongoing and everything else. And I think that if the, if the city's plan was not to come in with police, but to come in with public services, to come in with SDOT and, and things like that, that that's probably some of the guys could have just sat down like they used to sit down. They used to sit down and they would just actually negotiate like, oh, okay, let's do this, let's do that. That's those barriers, the barricades that are there right there. We actually streamed two of those meetings live. They're like, okay, well, man, this is the barricade plan. This is how they want to do it. This is how they want to make it work and everything else. We're going we're gonna to walk. I don't want to get hit. We're going to walk back over here in a second when the light changes. Um, the, the, the thing that's, like I said, that this that's pretty amazing about all of this is that basically the city got pushed out. That's what happened. They got pushed out. We got some talking heads over here. Um, these guys are still talking anyways. You know what I'm saying? Black Lives Matter! Black Lives Matter! Yeah, anyways. We'll catch up with that. I can be honest with you, like, you know, it's anyways, the whole point is <laughs> is that good morning, how are you? No problem. God bless you, be safe. The whole thing is, is so the city, the city was in here deep. Like if you guys look at the footage, they was in here deep. And now the city, the city, the, the, the protesters, really, if you got to put an analysis on this, the protesters have pushed the city out. Um, for now, uh, the city's going to be back. But what they're saying is, is that they're going to negotiate around barricade, barricade movement, barricade placement. One thing they did agree on for the most part was the entry of services today at 12 noon. So services will be enter, uh, entering over here around 12 p.m. Um, so we'll see how it goes with, with that. Um, and then they're gonna, they're gonna meet uh, again about which barricades are coming out and everything else. So, you know what I'm saying? For now, for now up here, Capitol Hill in Seattle, the protesters 
have pushed the city out of the chop. Uh, the helicopters are in the air. The, the national, some of the international broadcasters are here and they're streaming live. And I think that another issue that's going to happen out here is that, and it's Friday and it's sunny and it's Capitol Hill. The chop's going to have a lot of energy, y'all. I mean, it just is what it is. The chop is going to have a considerable amount of energy. So th this is this is what's happening over there. See, this is, uh, you got guys yelling, pointing pictures. You know what I'm saying? It's a lot of people who carry bags over there. Carry baggage, you know what I'm saying? I mean, man, I don't know why they ain't had a credible messenger out here from Jump, man. Dude don't got all this love, built up all this respect out here from these people. All right. There goes Rick. There goes Rick saying, don't agitate. So, we'll see what happens. This is CNN here. So, and you no, know, even right. Uh, SPD is on the scene, but they're, um, you know, they're currently, I mean, they're on the same block. But they're not in the shop. There is a, uh, the captain is over there across the street. We talked to him earlier. When we first got here. He said that, uh, he said that, uh, that the police role this morning is one of observation. And that's clearly what they've been doing. What's up, Rick? You good? Just go get back in your car. What's wrong, Rick? What's up, Rick? You alright? That's holding up traffic right now. Hold on, hold on. That's okay. That's okay. What's up? Nah, I don't think nobody's gonna agitate though, Rick. Nah, nah, listen. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Let, me talk to, let me talk to my brother. Hey, Rick, come on, man. I don't think nobody's agitating, bro. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Right. But you know, you got two straps out here, bro. And so, you know, whatever, yeah, you got two of them things. So whatever you don't feel right, bro, let, is that your truck right there? Yeah. Man, ain't nobody. Yeah, he's okay. I'm just, oh, okay. I'm, just going to get, I'm, I'm with. I'm with him too. Then, if you're with him, you see me. But just, Could I open your door for you? I'm going to get breakfast. Wait a minute, man. Okay. He's asking you to step back. I'm going to get breakfast for my council people. Okay, so go go get your bre go get your breakfast, Rick. Is the chief is okay? Yeah, that's Fire Chief Scoggins. He's all right, man. Huh? Go get go get your breakfast, family. It's okay. Let's go. No, I'm okay. You know what? You could bring me back a water, Rick. If you bring me back a water, we'll be good. There you go, Rick. Yeah, it's all good, man. All right, you be safe, Rick. Whew. You see, Rick got it. I think you'll be okay. Oh, you got some two nine millimeters, man. Thank you. No, I mean, I have have to have to have have everything out here is de-escalation. People call me. For, I mean, oh, I'm saying, Rick, Rick sitting out there with his two his two nines. I'm like, I'm good. <laughs> hey, what's up? Yeah, hi, moms. <laughs> Everybody's watching. You filming it, filming. <laughs> I've been filming it. It's just, like I said, this is almost almost 30 days all together coming in up here. Yeah. Serious. All right, protesters are moving back in. For some of you guys, you might not have ever really seen what the big deal is. That's, that's it right there, the East Precinct, Seattle Police Department, East Precinct. Protected. There's a lot of police officers out and around. We need protection. We need people at barriers. Hey, can you can you um 
Can you ask them on the message, ask them to call DQ because he's not in the uh, he's not in the chat and see how as early as he can get here because of what's going on. Chief, I see you guys out here. Barefoot trumpet. So yeah, this is the East Precinct. Uh, so maybe they'll go up there to Fire Station 25. Uh, that's a, the fire station is just up there on the corner behind the Costco. That's where Firehouse 25 is at. So maybe perhaps to meet over there. But it's, um, it's been an interesting day here, man. Full of, the, you know what the funny thing is? For people that follow my stream, it's like we got a lot of new people here today right now because of the, the, the nature of it. But for people who follow my stream, I've been sitting here the whole time saying, man, people just need to talk. Guys just need to talk. Take the polarizing figures out of the conversation and talk. Now look at this. Look at what's happening. After SDOT comes in, after Parks comes in, everybody else comes in, guess what people are doing? Talking which means the conversation could have happened way before then, on this point right here, you know? Look what they're doing. They are talking. That's wild. Something that could be occurring, something that could happen. And like I said, the same people that they're talking to, these are the same people that utilities, S dot and, and uh, fire have been talking to for weeks. So it, it's like, to me, if the city was gonna be like, okay, well, we're gonna come. No, actually, we're gonna stop. No, actually, now we're gonna negotiate. Now we're gonna, why not just start at the negotiations, fam? Like, cause that's all you're doing right now. All this resource came in here, hell of people. I mean, the city was deep in here. S dot parks everybody all that resource and the money that was spent on that you know what i'm saying and bringing them in you guys could have just if you're negotiating now you could have negotiated then i mean this doesn't make any sense it doesn't it, it doesn't make any sense nah. So we're getting some chatter here out of the point at this. All right. Thank you. So Anyway, so fire chiefs right there. You got the fire chief. You got there Stephanie, representative from the mayor's office. You got Sam Zimbabwe from S dot. Uh, actually, that's Sam right there from S dot, and they're gonna move the. They're gonna go and have their meeting. Uh, I mean, they're still still having a conversation over there, but. Uh, so I'm saying, everybody, I'm not trying to be too judgmental on anything, but I think that being out here. Uh, following these protests, literally from from day one, uh, is man, I do have some insight, and the insight as to what I can tell you is that, you know, um, 
the, the, the insight that I can offer you is that this situation here, if the city moved in, this is what happened. You guys went to the stream is you do all the rewind, you might be able to rewind now, but uh, or however it works. But the whole point is, it is that the police. I mean, not the police, the city of the city. Everybody moved in over here. I mean, it was bulldozers, dump trucks, work trucks, all kinds of stuff. Well, we're not going to follow them. I don't know. Um, they, they all came in here at 5.30 a.m. You know what I'm saying? A fire wasn't in here, but uh, SDOT and Parks and Utilities was in here at 5 o'clock this morning, 5.30 this morning. And they started disassembling the barricades and staging for their area at the park. Um, protesters woke up. Some of them you'll see uh, on, on this stream laid on the ground in front of bulldozers and things like that. They were, they were just laying down there. And ultimately what happened is, is that this had to, um, the, they got pushed back. I mean, you know what I'm saying? The, the, the protesters basically, you know what I'm saying, through however the situation here, but the, the city, they end up leaving. And now they're, now they're negotiating with the protesters who are on the ground. And the protesters who are on the ground here today, a lot of them are the same protesters that the city has been negotiating with the whole time. Yeah, I don't know. They're going up around corners, some other stuff. These are the same people the city's been negotiating with the whole time. As far as logistics around here and operations, not in political discussions. So I just want to be clear. Two different discussions, two different conversations occur. It's, uh, you know, the operations around the chop, and then there's the political. The political discussion has not occurred. Um, but the logistics, what's happening? You good? I'm just trying to yeah, bro, earlier we just say Le Miss. Do you hear the people saying? Yeah, oh, you guys are singing Le Miserable, huh? <laughs> I remember the I remember the play, but yeah, I remember the movie. That's Victor Hugo. Yeah, it's one of the most famous playwrights ever, man. So she like basically everybody was waiting for. I was telling I was telling Le Miserable a long time ago. He was, there, uh, he's talking about, uh, do you hear the people sing? You know, yeah, that's what he was talking about. He was like, man, they're on the barricade, just like Le Miserat. Do you hear the people sing? Singing the song of agreement. It's the music of a people who will not be slaves again. Yeah, so that's what they were back there singing. It's like, with the beating of your heart, it's the beating of the drum. What? Get what going? Oh, no, I'm, I say, I'm telling you guys to the stream what, uh, yeah, but exactly. We were just talking about, they're over there singing it right now. Are they? Yeah, they're, they're singing it. I'm like, yeah, don't, don't nobody want to hear me sing, for sure. So, yeah, I, I must. So all you need, man. So we come out back over here to Pike Street. Helicopters in the air. Everything out here. Huh? Yeah, you said you're right. Oh, uh, it was crazy because we interviewed the trumpet guy yesterday. And when we interviewed the trumpet guy, he said that he hadn't played his trumpet in two weeks because it was a war trumpet. And now today he's got the trumpet out. Let's see if we can find him. Chief, Fire Chief Scoggins walking the neighborhood. It looks like he's gone over here in front of the police. He's got his war trumpet going. Let's see. Uh, good to see you again, man. Good to see you, too. All right. You guys around? Yeah, we're around. Okay, man, if you need anything, just pop All right. in. All right. Guys might remember the bare chested trumpeter.
It's the Seattle Police Cruiser right here. You missed me? These guys killed my friends. These guys killed my friends. You understand that? He told us yesterday, just like I said in an interview yesterday, I asked him, I said, you, well, I haven't seen you play your trumpet, man. You know what I'm saying? He said that's a war trumpet. So I put it down a long time ago, or at least two weeks ago, so I could learn, you know, what's going on. And today he's got his trumpet back out. So. We see the cruisers leaving the scene. We see the officers leaving the scene here. This is the last van right here, officers. Fucking cowards! Get the fuck out of here! So, and I guess we could say the band continues to play on. Oh my God. I don't even deal with that. Their balls haven't dropped yet. I don't deal with that. <sighs> well, I don't know what the city's plan was for today, but I can pretty much tell you it's not unfolding as they thought it would downtown. I mean, it's, it's, uh, why, why again, if the city is negotiating with the same people they've been negotiating with, they didn't negotiate this entry here today. If for all stakeholders here, it's now it's now increased attentions. I mean, if you're a police officer, it's increased attentions over there. If the, the people, the protesters, for people at S dot, for people at public utilities and parks and everything else out here, again, don't know what the plan was. And on top of that, with the helicopters in the air with Fox News Channel here, with CNN here, and with the Associated Press streaming to the world. Uh, you know, this this is actually unfolding now in a much bigger way and putting a lot more energy here on the chop. Uh, like I said, if, if the city, what the city is doing right now is they're talking to members in the chop who they've always been talking to about operations. But those members were not aware of this 530 uh, thing that, that the, the city was coming in today at 5.30. The city got here at 5.30. The protesters woke up and basically everything is halted. And now the city is negotiating with them. Why the city didn't just sit down and get everybody around the table before? Because watch what you're going to come out with. 100% what you're going to come out with today is a compromise. 100%. Protesters aren't going to get everything they want. The city's not going to get everything they want. So if that's the case, why don't you guys just negotiate yesterday or the day before and come to a compromise, have all the stakeholders over here, and then how you can enter the area however you wanted to. Like, man, this shit ain't hard, man. Like, it's not hard. What are you guys doing down there? It's not hard. Like, damn. I mean, this is what I'm saying. And then, and then, all of a sudden, they want to put Chief Scoggins out there like he's the uh, the ugly stepchild or something. You feel me? And that's the guy who's got the, the most weight, carries the least baggage. Now, putting all this time over here, these guys want to show up. People we ain't never seen before from the mayor's office and everything else. Where's Chief Scoggins at? Where's the person who the people on the street resonate with? You know what I'm saying? Nowhere to be found. I don't know what you guys are doing downtown, man. And I tell you, man, I'm not with these protesters, and I'm definitely not with City Hall. I'm just calling it like I see it. Because you know what, man? The people in our city deserve better than this. Because I'm telling you, everybody, stakeholders of the Emerald City, what's getting ready to happen here today is a compromise around the table. That's what's getting ready to happen. 
You know what I'm saying? Protesters aren't leaving over here. Some of these barricades are going to stay. Some of them are going to be moved. Some services are going to be allowed. Some services are not going to be allowed. It's a compromise. Why ain't they just talk before? I mean, they probably would have got the protesters on side around the compromise, which they're going to end up with anyway. But instead, here you go. You got your spectacle. Here you go. You see, here, here's all the cameras. Here's the helicopters. Here's everything else. And you know what the cameras catch? The cameras catch S. Dot and the city and everybody else getting pushed out. So, you know, man, I don't know who's in control of stuff down there, but man, y'all got to get it together. No, they've been, so some people have been asking, right? They said, how can you negotiate with these people? The city has been in constant negotiation. They've been in constant negotiation. There's two types of negotiations that go on, right? There's the political negotiations around these demands. You know, guys got their demands. They want to defund the police and everything else, right? There's another negotiations that's been going on from the day the East Precinct left. And it's been going on with the fire department, with SDOT and public utilities. I mean, if anybody's been following this stream, then you know. I mean, it's like we've, we've even we've talked to the chief, we talked to Zimbabwe, we talked to utilities plenty of times and you see them out here because it's constant. There's negotiations around trash pickup. There's negotiations around around those things right there, uh, the uh, honey buckets. There's negotiation around traffic pattern. There's negotiation around what time the, the lights can stay on or off over at Cal Anderson Park. So there's constant negotiation. You see what I'm saying? Those aren't political negotiations. You know what I'm saying? For the most part, those are operational and logistical negotiations which have been occurring. They've been occurring since the, the Seattle police left the East Precinct. So I'm not talking about political uh, uh, negotiations around demands and this and that. It's just the same negotiations that have been occurring, a lot of them, we've actually live streamed from our studio over here out to the world. People have seen it. That people, people have actually seen it. And so that's what I'm saying when you hear me saying negotiate, um, it's not something that's new or foreign to this process. They've been negotiating around, um, they've been negotiating around operations and logistics from the day that the Seattle Police Department left. Cause you gotta remember, fire had to come in and, and make sure, you know, they wanted to put some some uh, fire retardant on the building. You know what I'm saying? Public utilities is over here hooking stuff. I mean, it's been constant. So that's what I'm saying is 90 plus percent or maybe even 100 percent of what they're doing today or what they wanted to do is one, they wanted to come and bring in human services. Two, they said they wanted to move some barricades. Three, they wanted to address some issues there at the park. Right. And so, but at the end of the day today, if they're going to just compromise with the same people who they've been negotiating with, but clearly didn't discuss this with, then like, what are they doing this morning? This is just a spectacle. Then nice. man, that's not, yeah. I mean, those are, those are the big demands. So the three big demands from these group is defund the police, community use of funds, and amnesty for all protesters. That's been there, is what I'm saying. That has been there from day one. That's not what I'm talking about. When I'm talking about negotiating, I'm talking about operations and logistics, which people have been doing from day one out here. You get what I'm saying? So, we'll see where it goes. It's nice. This is a police having a conversation with some of the protesters. Well, it was a conversation. Ah, uh, it's a medic. So, it looks like we got a new crew of medics might be out here. Fucking faces. They're just fucking people. I'm gonna drive that car, Mark, 
understand that? That's my car now. They, but that was the original plan. So what happened before the mayor's press conference, the mayor had her press conference and, and it reset the timeline. But down here on the ground, we'd already been hearing from people and very credible sources that the water and electricity was going to be cut off days before the mayor's press conference. But then the mayor had her press conference and she said that, you know, we want to be able to provide services and everything else. So the, the, the water and the electricity was not cut off when it was uh, originally scheduled to get, be cut off, which was uh, the date before the mayor had her press conference. That was the date that uh, it was originally supposed to be cut off. So I think, I think that... Uh, I think there's a deficiency of leadership all the way around. And I keep saying that. I've said that plenty of times uh, on, on my stream, on the morning show, and everything else. It's just a deficiency of leadership, man. It's, it's, you know, guys, it's just anemic. I mean, these guys over here, the chop guys, you can't get somebody to this, who's that, who's whatever. You know what I'm saying? Demand shift, all kinds of stuff. The city, representatives. You know what I'm saying? These guys, man, they, they sit they sit in the city council district. They sit in district three. You know what I'm saying? It's, uh, I mean, people voted for their representative. I don't see their city council representative. You know what I'm saying? Mayor's office, protesters. I mean, it's, man, it's crazy. Hey, Cafe Vida open now? Now they are, yeah. Uh, you want, uh, 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 I got it. I got it. I got it on my phone. Oh, you got an app? I got, I got what you want on my phone. Oh. Yeah. I'll, I'll just check up on the screen and see where you're at. Okay. I'll be back Thanks. Appreciate you. You know, it's this way. SDOT, look at all this, look at all this heavy equipment, man. I'm telling you, SDOT came in here ready to move the world. And now they're leaving. Man, look, look how deep. Let me just show you guys. Hey, what's up? How are you? Look at this. So now S dot all the way down there past Madison. You see S dot is lined up. There's still trucks. Hell the trucks down there. So it's like How's the garden going? Man, I saw the garden yesterday, actually. Garden looks dope. I gave a tour. We had some people from uh, from out of town. I brought them up and gave a tour. So let's go talk to some of the protesters. See what they're talking about. They've reinforced this barricade over here. There you go. There's Dread right here. Those people are sending a false message, bro. What's up, Dread? They don't even know. They don't even know what they're doing, bro. Come on, bro. Yeah. How, how, bro, I'm talking about the black fist that's in the field that's surrounded by a whole bunch of people that's not up here right now, bro. And then we had to like literally fight off these niggas that came here to move the barricades and shit like that. You feel me? Like, how are, that's what I'm, I'm talking about right now, Amari. Like, I'm trying to let her know that we're about to go take care of that. You feel me? Because we need everybody here, bro. We don't need, we don't, this is not over. 
chop is not over, bro. This black you said lives that the other day. Black lives matter is not over. I don't know what nobody's thinking about, bro. Black lives matter will never end, bro. I don't care what you're saying. I don't care how you feel. I don't care how you think this whole thing is going on. What's go this shit happens everywhere in the world, bro. What or without the police? You feel me? People die. People get raped. Shit's not supposed to happen, but it does happen. But it's our job to keep that shit from happening, bro. This ha bro. You've been here, right? With me since day one, bro. Yeah. How many so died? So almost 29 days out here, bro. In inside the chop. How much people died? <clears throat> one. Thank you, bro. Thank you so much, bro. You hear that number, Lorenzo bro. Anderson. A month, bro. A month, bro. One person died inside the chop, bro. This protest been going on for a month, bro. You feel me? You feel me, bro? And one person died, my G? That's a beautiful number, bro. I'm I'm sad. I'm sad that homie's gone, bro. But I really think that we're doing great, bro, with no law, with no system, bro. Just the people. And one person died, bro. Y'all got to look at that, bro. It's something great, bro. You feel me? We know what we're doing, bro. And what we don't need is people looking at this like it's going to waste. Y'all don't need to be hypocritical, bro, screaming out that every day, you feel me, and not being here, bro. What we witnessed this morning is the city, they still know that this is a fight, bro. They Look, this precinct, show them the precinct real quick, bro. Show them the precinct, bro. It's occupied by 10. Come on, I got a home, bro. This precinct is being occupied right now, bro. This is one precinct. One precinct in Seattle, Washington, bro. In this whole Washington state that's not being occupied by the police, that's not locking up somebody right now for selling, for selling weed on the corner, bro. For like doing, for like doing some weird shit, you feel me? For just being, this, this precinct does not do for shit no more, shit. bro. No more, bro. This precinct doesn't run no more, bro. Look at this shit, bro. I'm black, man. Get the fuck off. Yo, guys, move over, guys. Move over, guys. Move over. All right. Well, we weren't expecting this, but hey. See, this is my time. It's a little messy. I got my guitar in here because I play my guitar. You feel me? My mattress is in here, bro. I'm here to stay, bro, is what I'm trying to show y'all. This over here is my living room section. You feel me? And shit like that. Like a little, a little cutie staying with me right now and shit like that. So I'm not, right, I'm that, not that's why you got the extra wide. Yeah, you see. <laughs> All right. But I'm just All saying, right. I'm here to stay. This is my desk, bro. I, I brought this desk out here so people can come and sit down and talk to me and realize why I'm out here, bro. I'm from New York City, bro. I'm here for my son. My son is nine months old, bro, and he's a mixed man, bro. You feel me? A mixed young man, bro. And I'm not trying to have him fight in the next 20 to 30 years, the same fight, bro, you feel me? That shit sucks, bro. My, my pops, his pops, his pops, pops, all been through this fight, bro. So why, why I have the chance to end it and not end it, bro, you feel me? This precinct right now is not running, and that's how I'm gonna keep this precinct not running. My next step is to hit the West precinct, so that shit is not running too, bro. My my whole theory in this shit is not to give up no more space to these people, bro. They came in here this morning, and they asked, for to uh, move, move the barricades up there and the one on 11th and Olive. No, no. I told that man, you started with a dollar, bro, and you give somebody 50 cents, you're the one that's taking a fucking loss, bro. The point of, the point of winning is to gain, not to lose, my G. How are we how are we winning this battle, bro? How are we winning this war, bro? Period, bro. And we're giving away what we started with, you feel me? We started with we, we didn't even have these barricades, Amari, you feel me? We I, I remember there, there was there was no barricade the day no that the uh that the police left the East Precinct. And, and a week a week later, I, I I was sleeping, bro, and I woke up in the morning, bro, and I see these fucking barricades, you feel me? Like, that's what I'm trying to say, bro. You don't do you don't do that shit, bro. You feel me? You don't do that shit. We gave we gave them a little piece, and now they came back in here to try to open. We let them run cars through here. There's cars running through here, right? You seen cars running through here, right, Mari? Yeah. Not now anymore. they're trying to come in here now and have it open again, bro. No, you can't do that, bro. You can't do that. Thank you, Black Man. All right, man. Thanks for opening up. You know that, bro. I'm here, bro. Be safe. God bless you. <laughs> Let me know. I'll bring the guys. From, I'll bring Dan Simon from CNN back over here. All right. Wow. So we see people literally reinforcing the barricades. That's just unfortunate. Hey, what's up? How are you? You all right? You've been watching me. Yes, that first video over 
Yeah. Yeah, I thought I was going to get some sleep today, but no rest for the weary, huh? Yeah, doing good. Doing yeah, you be safe. God bless you. What's crazy enough now is that from 5.30 this morning to now, the chop is just even more barricaded. You get what I'm saying? Uh, yeah. Let me walk down there. Uh, huh? Man, I don't know what the word is, but it's... Uh, Well, yeah, they got, they they got, I mean, push back, I guess is the word. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, I mean, this this is the situation. Yeah. So this is... I mean, we told you guys, though, that the other day when when it was reported that what's McCall call that the chop, the chop was leaving. We told you then people are in trench. We told you that they had food lines. We told you that they weren't going to go anywhere. We told you they was going to exactly what's going to unfold here, man. You know what I'm saying? And that's exactly what we've seen uh, happen here. And to be honest with you, I mean, there's really no other way to put it this morning, man. The, the protesters pushed the city out. Um... And the, the, the city's going to negotiate, my understanding. They're going to do some talking. You know, the big wigs are going to do some talking down there. And um, their plan is to come back out. And I think what, what we're going to do today is we're going to do our, we'll do the morning show from probably right here in this, uh, in the square. And we'll see who we can get on from the city to also uh Discuss. Are you gonna be here later on? Yeah, so I'm, I'm finna be off in like 30, 15. Just wanna be able to update everybody. So, again, what's occurring here is at 5 30 this morning. Let me set the scene. <clears throat> 5 30 this morning. You know, you know. S. Dot, the Seattle Parks Department, Seattle Public Utilities came into the chop area, began to dismantle the wooden boxes that were on top of the cement barricades that uh, basically outlined the footprint of the chop. Uh, by 6 a.m., protesters had woken up, and I guess in enough numbers, to uh, put resistance to this movement, the movement of the city. And what we saw here on this stream, as you saw protesters actually laying down in front of the bulldozers and in front of the equipment. Um, about 20, 30 minutes after that, we saw a representative from the mayor's office and uh, we saw SDOT directors in Bobway and a few other people engaged in conversations with the protesters. Um, and what they said is they're gonna come back in a few hours, they're gonna identify which barricades they're moving, which ones not to, which public services are gonna be allowed in, uh, and, and a few other things. And so, um, you know, at this point, I guess we'll see exactly what's going to happen here with uh, exactly what's going to happen here. But, I mean, one thing I can say for sure, and here's what I've been saying, and I just want everybody to just listen so I can explain this to you, is, what's up? How are you? It was 5.30, of course. I was out here. I got everything. Go check me out. You know what I'm saying? So listen, here's what I want everybody to understand, right? Two, there's two lines, uh, two, two streams of negotiation. So when I'm saying negotiation on this stream, I'm not saying political negotiation, as in demands, this, that, or whatever. What I'm saying is, is that they've been negotiating around logistics and operations since the police left the East Precinct. 
What do I mean? I mean that they negotiated where these porta potties are going to go, and how they're going to get service, trash pickup. You, you're welcome. Be safe. God bless. Trash pickup. Uh, um, you know, uh, the lights over at, at the park has come on and off, all those things. They've been in constant negotiations about that. You know, <clears throat> there's always been, it's not even a back channel. Two of these, two of the meetings between these guys, we actually live streamed. It's not even a secret that, you know, the, the city and, uh, uh, and the chop has been in constant communication. But it hasn't been about political. And I'm not talking about political this morning. Demands, defund the police, this and that. It's always been logistics. Or, or you know, someone might bring some concerns, or my resident might bring some concerns to fire or, or to public utilities. And then, you know, they'll come in because they have a relationship with the CHOP. It's always been an open channel between fire, SDOT, Seattle Public Utilities, and the protesters. Like 100%, you know what I'm saying? Yes, yeah, life. Hey, I got one thing to say. Hold on, I need to finish what I'm saying, though. Right. It's the best thing about it being by phone and by stream. Uh, so, those those conversations have been happening. And so, if today the city ends up negotiating and not getting everything that they wanted, and the protesters end up negotiating and not getting everything that they wanted, then why didn't they just negotiate in the beginning? I mean, it's like, I don't know. It's wild. What you got to say, man? You giving a shout out to the fam? Huh? I'm trying to get more support down here with the Juggalo family. Oh, yeah, no, I, I, you can't use the platform for that, bro. But, man. But you know, CNN's right over there on the corner. And then there's a the guy from the AP. There's hella other people that are cool with that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, so just let people know is it's like, yeah, my joint is not, yeah. What's up, Jay? What's up? Getting the, uh, getting the They left the notes. Oh, they put notes on there for yeah, him? Yeah, they left them notes. Uh, they didn't leave many cookies, though. They didn't leave no cookies and milk, huh? They just left these notes? Yeah. Well, <clears throat> we'll see. Uh, yeah, that's what I'm saying. It's like, it's all the way around, man. So here's what I'm telling you is that the city has been in constant communication and negotiation with the job, 100%. They haven't been in political negotiations. They've been in operational negotiations. How are fire trucks gonna move through the chop? You guys heard it before. They, they, they negotiated where Medic One, the ambulances are gonna go and pick up people. Those are called negotiations, people. Exactly. So, uh, <clears throat> They've been in negotiations all along. That's that's why. No, it's over there. That's why. Um, that's why they have that that map as to where if something happens inside the chop, you should go over here because medic one can meet here and there. They negotiated that. So whether you like it or not, this is just what's been occurring and occurs in a lot of things like this. Uh, apparently a lot of different situations. So utilities, <clears throat> fire, medical, and um, roads have been in constant communication and negotiation around those specific things since the police left the East Precinct, 100%. So whether you agree that they should be talking or should have been talking and negotiating, or you don't agree. Okay. Check it out. Go to anarchistlibrary.org. Go to Old Crit on Twitter. Oh. Uh, uh, you guys. Material. Everyone needs to do some reading homework. Yeah. Uh, okay, man. Got you. God bless them, right. Yeah. God bless you too, man. Be safe out here. You know what I'm saying. So let me come back over here.
<clears throat> we get a shot at the East Precinct again. So again, no matter how you, how you feel, whether you think that the city is a good thing, they've always had a back channel. It's not even been a back channel. It's been a front channel. For people who've been following this, you know, like, you know what I'm saying? We've been showing all along who's communicating with who and doing what. Guys are moving fencing into place over here. Um, or whether you're like, man, the city should have should have never... Um, if if you feel like that the city should have never even they should have cut off power and cut off whatever it's kind of difficult though because it's a residential um a long time ago either way i'm just telling you what it is and what it is is that those those three institutions in our city uh fire medical and then s dot and public utilities they've been out here they built a rapport they've built you know what i'm saying with within the organizers out here and everything else as you can imagine it's important that fire and um, and medical, they have a way because this is a residential area. There's people who live inside the chop who have absolutely nothing to do with the chop. So what if somebody has a heart attack? You know, they're just chilling. They're not with chop. They're not with anything. There has to be some kind of understanding between uh, people inside the chop and medic one of how they treat them. What are they supposed to do? Everything else. You see what I'm saying? So, And that's just one thing. So if you take a step back and think about it, that a lot of times on any given night here, once nighttime falls, there's more people who reside and pay rent in the residential area in the CHOP than the actual CHOP protesters. You get what I'm saying? There's actually so, I mean, you have to take the needs and say, like, there's a stout building right there, you know? Here's the Packard building over here. There's 12th Avenue Arts right there. All these people live in this zone. And so a lot of the negotiation that's been happening uh, around logistics is on behalf of these people who are residents who live in the zone. What's going to happen if 911, you know, they have an emergency there in that building? Where are they supposed to go? Where are they going to meet Medic One and everything else? So, you know, I think that people might have a, a misconception on the Chaz as well. This is occurring in a residential neighborhood with a lot of people who don't even want to have anything to do with it. So what if they just fall and break a leg? What if they have a heart attack? What if they have a whatever? You know what I'm saying? It's supposed to be like, oh, well. So, yeah, I mean, at the, at the end of the day, what's going to happen here today, my friends, um, not always right, but been right a lot about this, what's going to happen here today is that the city's going back there and they're having their conversation protesters are going there they're going to have their conversation the protesters are going to want to say oh well, we need more time you know the protesters are going to concede something today so watch at 12 o'clock they're going to be like oh yeah if you guys want to send your social workers then we're okay you can send the social workers if you guys want to do outreach they'll probably concede to that and there's some cars that are parked on a water main they don't it's not a visible water main like you wouldn't know it but underneath the ground it's a water main they're going to move the car right so they're going to give the concessions over there that's, that's 100 percent you know say that's what i'm feeling but then it's also going to be because it's the weekend and everything else, and be like, well, man, let's resume these discussions on Monday or something like that. You see what I'm saying? It's another 48 hours in the city. So then, you know what I'm saying, man? I'm just, come on. I just see what it is. So they might even tell them, like, for today, I don't know if they'll send a crew, though, for limited, whatever. They're going to send some people, and they're probably going to reduce the footprint on some certain streets. So all the street, all the, all the barricades down there by the park, let me show you this. Not today. They're not giving it back. Somebody asked, are they giving back the police station? Not today. So some of the barricades down there that make that loop, then protesters will most likely give those back. And they're going to probably give back the, the far barricades right there on um, Pine, Nagel, and 10th. So when they negotiate, like I said, I think that that loop that's going to go. The city is going to is going to reclaim that space. The city is going to reclaim on 10th and Nagel and Pike or Pine right over there. 
and then the city's gonna reclaim the cement barrier that's also right there on 11th. Now this is what I'm I'm throwing it out there right now to see what um see what's gonna happen. But that's what I'm anticipating. We're gonna meet again. Let's ask this guy. See what he has to say. <clears throat> Going out of the highway, we're going to various places, we're going everywhere. But again, just one voice. But yeah, yeah, not a representative of Trump. But yeah, until our demands actually are met, I, I don't think that anyone here is going to leave, and I don't think that anyone is going to be stopping these protests. Yeah. What about the police precinct? Will the police be allowed back in? I, to my knowledge, they're in there right now. How did they get in? They've been walking in. There's a tunnel. Yeah. So. This used to, 12th Avenue Arts used to be a, a, a parking for the oh, police. It used to be where the police parked their cars. So there's actually, I haven't seen it myself, but so many people, even before this whole protest thing, there's a tunnel that goes from 12th Avenue Arts over here to the East Precinct. Yeah, and, and again, I do want to confirm, again, just one of the people, there's a whole council letter here. I'm just simply here, like right now, talking to you from my perspective. But you could uh, you know, also talk to, to Malcolm, talking to Angel, as I believe they're going by now. There's so, uh, Brooks is another great resource. And I hope that you do talk to them as well. Okay. All right. Thank you. Appreciate it. Yeah, of course. So what's the story, man? What's the story? You know, as usual, Converge Media breaks everything. 5.22 a.m. Yeah, Who's out here? You know what I'm saying? When it was going down. Yeah. So, so look, man, not going too deep in these whole things with ideologies and everything else, man. Yeah. What's the story? How come if, if, actually, what you tell we? me, what's, what, what's the position right now? What's my personal position? No, what's your, you know, fill us in what's going on. You're on the council and everything. Yeah, totally. I mean, honestly, what happened is, I think like, around five, six years, like people started coming, rolling in, trying to move there. It was 522, believe me, man. Exactly. The, the, con the converged media eye never sleeps. I appreciate you, man. And, and unfortunately, I, I, I went home to work on the legislation as it, that we're trying to pass forward. My first time actually going home to sleep more than an hour. Um, yeah, but we, uh, so that was happening. I ended up getting a call from various protesters saying, David, get down here. This, the, the black leadership's not down there. Like, we, we need we need help. They're moving bears. They're moving bears. Come down. I was like, okay. So I ran here. I lived, I don't know. If I wanted to be no, there. no, you don't. <laughs> But so I, I literally just booked it here, um, and thankfully uh, I, I think uh, yeah. But then we then we started the negotiation, went directly towards the people who we've identified as leadership in the city. There's uh, no, they no, they've been they've been here though. I mean that's that's directed Zimbabwe from S dot. You know what I'm saying? Harry Mark. No, Hartley, let me. I can tell you because I've seen it. Fire Chief Scoggins been here from day one. Uh, uh, Director Zimbabwe from S Dot, yep. Hari Mara from uh, Public Utilities. Yep. Those the three amigos. They've been who was new today was the representative Steph. from the mayor's and office. That's what I was trying to say. Oh, like, okay. Steph, Steph, this was my first time seeing. Because Steph. everybody is seeing this, I always correct people. I, you know I what agree. I'm saying? That's I all. You. But yep. yeah, that, what I was trying to say is this was my first time seeing Stephanie down here. Okay. Um, Y'all know that I walked the mayor right now. Really? Yeah. Hell yeah, bro. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, like they're, they're there, we were able to identify who those people were, and then the negotiation started. It just simply trying to hear them out, figuring out what the situation was. They said that they wanted to move the barriers in order to do a couple of things. One, uh, allow emergency vehicles to come here, but also to allow, um, or just overall transit to come throughout this area. Also to uh, remove the vehicles from the, the watershed that's here in the park. Right, and this went over, yeah, it's over a water yeah, which, in my opinion, is understandable. We, I, I, to my knowledge, no one understood that that was the place. We're not here to destroy the city's water. It seems like a reasonable thing to do. But also, uh, they wanted to remove the, the barriers that act as checkpoints. Again, airports. down there, so that'd be a, a, a pine on Tenth and Nagel. Exactly, and then and, and the negotiation became. They want to put in human services. Uh, they don't want to put in human human services. They want to provide. Some well, sort provide of, human services exactly yeah. for the ever growing homeless population that we've accepted as part of our community here. And I guess full and unilaterally, I think the decision became, uh, it was myself, I don't know if does, can I say, 
I don't know. Who, I don't know whose names that feel comfortable. All right, so so no, it's okay. <laughs> so are you talking about from the city side? No, 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 not from oh, from, 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 from the, your from side. The shop side. Yeah. Oh, okay. I'm okay saying city side because they're all yeah. public figures, but protesters don't always like their names to be said. Yeah, but uh, can I ask you something real quick? Yeah. While we stop here, how come one of you guys just don't jump out here and be like, "Yeah, man, I'm the motherfucking man. Talk to me." So, how come how come it's always like man I defer back to this and defer back to that and defer back to this I'm just letting you know because it's right. frustrating not only for media and for everybody else oh, who's in the city and, and for the city but also the people that are in there for negotiations yep. how come somebody's yeah. like man I'm, I'm putting this on my shoulders yeah, and I'm gonna carry it through you guys and, always and, defer and, and, and no it's and for, <laughs> no offense brother but no it's okay and because you've been here from the beginning, I've been here from the yeah. very, very beginning uh what I've always said is I can only speak for myself. Hold me accountable for everything. Genuinely. That said, there have I also say that I want to congregate the views of the people. Individuals all need to be represented at each of these discussions. That's why we've I mean in that in that even in the interviews that you saw, I'm sure there were the three people who stood in the center talking about this. And all three of them have differing opinions as to the exit of CHOP, you know, like as to the, the division of CHOP. That said, we continue to represent the people. Um, I, I know that's on the I know if I, if, if I could give some advice and I'll be honest with you, I saw it in the Chevy commercial I think years ago. It said, lead, follow, or get out of the way. Amen, brother. So, you know, Amen, my, my advice is just a humble member of the independent media oh, who's out here on a shoestring yeah. budget trying to make it. Yeah, bro. Somehow, people got to lead, follow, or get out of the way. Because right right now, I'm just letting you know that the whole, we need to go and do this and that, man. You know what I'm saying? It needs to emerge out here from the ground. It's just, this is my advice. You know, I'm not with you guys. I ain't no protester. I don't know what any of this. But, you know, I'm just trying to cover a story. But I am saying is that, I mean, one thing I am, though, is the post of the people outside of CHOP. Because I'm in the comments, people Twitter me, they email me, everything. So I've literally got my finger on the post of the people in the Emerald City. And that's what I'm saying is like people are looking for somebody to come and be like, yeah, I'm putting this on my back. Absolutely. And, and, and you genuinely do have that. Like, like we are here. I mean, Hello. something that I actually just apologize to people just a couple of days ago and, and the protesters here is that lack of communication as the person who whose words did inspire a lot of this, I do feel responsible for a, a lot of these things. I will well, then if you're going to be responsible, lives. then own it then. Saying Amen, you're responsible and owning something don't mean shit. That's, I'll be, I'll be honest means. with you. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Somebody needs to own something. You know what, man? We took a... It, it's different because I'm not trying to push a political movement. But you know what, man? I... I, I we took a big, uh, uh, not even a gamble. We stepped out here saying, how can we cover as somebody who has the smallest amount of resource in media in this whole city, in this whole city, the smallest amount of resource, the smallest staff, the smallest everything. We were like, man, we're going to own it. And you know what? It all begins and ends with me. This shit fails. It's Omari's fault. You know what I'm saying? And guess what? If it succeeds, it's all the great people of Converge Media. It's not even on me, but I own it. Amen. And you know what I'm saying? If I mess up something out here, I own it. Amen, you know bro. what I'm saying? Where's the ownership and over that, here that, on you that, guys' that, side? That, Where's the sense of commitment? Brother, You're committed to being here in front of this precinct, but somebody has to commit to take ownership to this. And I agree with you. That's what I'm saying right now. I commit to all of that aspect. Again, my words are the things that inspired a lot of us and ask the people who were just protesting to even come to the East Precinct to begin with. And you're right. There has been this aspect of hiding not hiding but uh, uh, absconding from some of that uh that heat that comes with that leadership i've only been here responsible for the people but there is a the, the, the uh the division that we've had is because no one has necessarily stepped up that said i would say the best way in my opinion to lead is to listen being a servant leader is the best way to make sure that we as a people are represented and i will always listen to the people man let, let me tell you but but i'm mm. telling you right now amari i'm telling everybody if this goes south it's david lewis's fault so what? That's part of that's part of being out there. Exactly. Hold on. That's what I'm, you just said. You, you, know, you, know you, you know what you know what you what you know what you're saying. You know what you're saying. You're saying the same thing that so many small business entrepreneurs do. They put themselves out there. They might go and borrow a loan. They open a business, and if the shit succeeds, it's great. And if it fails, guess what? It's on them. There's so many people in our society every day that take a risk, but they put it all on their back, bro, and they own it. 
So what? So so people are scared of failure. Guess what, man? You know what people are saying right now about about me? They're like, man, Omari is doing this. Omari is doing that. Omari is doing this, that. You know what I'm saying? I worked a whole career overseas that people here don't even know about. Lived in yeah. the Middle East and Africa and everything else. Today, people are seeing a victory around my reporting. But bro, I've got tons of losses. I got tons of losses. I got. I got tons of losses, bro. What's happening? No, you no. can't be afraid of a loss not, if it's not, something not, that you're going to go. I'm not afraid of a loss. Bro. I'm not saying you you personally. I'm saying generally. I, I, I agree 100%. And I think that's, that speaks to the dedication of everybody. Go tell, that's... go tell Eagleson we found the future crystals champ. Go tell Eagle said. Oh, yeah, that's just something else. No, I mean, but it's, it's, brother, here's the thing. Huh? As listening to the people, there are individuals who want to be in this leadership role, and we should, and we should like give them that opportunity. I myself have had the gift of being a Man, the gift and privilege of being. I'm, I'm, you know what? You know what I'm gonna tell you though. And I will hold uh -huh. up to that. There's people wanted this council, so we're facilitating that council. So, what, what I'm, what I'll say this is, is two different things, and I'm not, I'm not attacking you, and I don't want you to do take it like this. I it's like you know, what, like one, one thing I can say is that us, Converge Media, we're not learning on the job. We know, we know this shit. We know it forwards and backwards. Whether we've always had the money to do it and the resource, we're not learning on the job. How, how are people out here? I'm not saying you per se. I don't know. I need to talk to you more. There's there, we there, would, we would, there's I've people out here. Hold on. Long time, Amar. But but how un from the beginning, how unfair? <laughs> hold on. How unfair <laughs> is it? How unfair <laughs> is it to to not not eat not even <laughs> the mayor and the city council? How unfair is it to the people of the city of Seattle that some people are out here learning on the job? I promise you, man. Cause we're yeah, we're not learning on this job. You, you guys are yeah. Point, man, like again, you were there from the day one. I, I think at least I was, day two. No, hell no. I was there from the Friday. That's when right. it really. You better get it right. Don't be up of getting funny up by character timeline out I, here, I, I man. Know, I know. I'm just saying. But from from this movie, right? Like this this little thing that started with coming to the East Precinct. That was that Sunday. And I know that you. Were I was there. I was in that march to the East Precinct. Right. This guy is his eyes bleeding there. Keep going, keep going. No, no, no. No, he's got to go to medical care. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. So that you got a medical emergency. Hey, man. Thanks, Rick. I don't know. He's bleeding out of his head, though. Oh, that don't look. Oh shit! Oh, 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 oh! Put the gun down. Put. Okay, okay. Put the gun down. Put the gun down. Uh, fuck. Hey, we gotta go get the vest. Uh, 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 uh. Put them. Put them guns down. Put the guns down. Hey, family. Um, hey, first, first of all, we need to put these guns up. Who's over there with the vest? Back up! Back up! Back up! Back up! David, back up! Back up! He's telling you to back up! Back up! You see, he got the strap right there. Back up. Give him his six feet. Holy shit. Man, no, no. But watch him call us over there. He's got a gun on the other side, too. Yeah, yeah. Rick's back back up from him. Nah, man. It, it just got real funky right here. We need somebody in the vest. All right. We need somebody with... You want me to, do we have anybody in, in, in huh, the let me, let, let me Let me get, let me get the keys. Uh, yeah, we need to take a good cover spot, please. Yeah, okay, fine. Uh, I'm coming over here. I'll wait for you to come back with the vest. Any of the blue ones are yours? Uh, the big, the big blue one, the big blue vest is mine. Yeah, get, grab a bulletproof vest for yourself, please. So, just like that. Put the strap down. Look, man. Dude telling you to back up. He got the strap. The back up. Man, this is the dumbest shit I ever seen. He's sitting over. He's gotten us. Dumbass people. 
Look at this shit. Hey, youngin. Hey, 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 youngin. Hey, it's all right. He gave out my yeah. gun. Okay, I know he got the gun. But, 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 but that's not the first or the last gun you'll probably see. It's all right. It's okay. It's okay. But, but, but guess what? Right now, he got the strap. And you know what that means? That means everybody's going to calm down. That means uh, nobody says you were. But you know what? You might not get hit. It could be me. My fat ass over here filming. So that's what I'm saying. We know you a tough guy. I know you ain't scared of the gun. You know what I'm saying? It's just for other people. That's all we trying to do. It's okay. No, it's, it's, it's guys, guys understand. Guys understand. It's okay. It's all right. Let's deal with it another time. It's all right. It's okay. It's okay. It's all right. It's all right. Let's calm down. Let's calm down. There you go, bro. Let's go. Man, you know what? You'll, you'll live to fight another day. There you go. Let's calm down. Let's calm down. Let, there you go. Give him his space. Yep. Let's, let's give him his space. He's not answering no questions. There you go. All right, family. Hey, let's just give everybody. Let's just give him. Yeah. There you go. It's all your space, bro. That's your, that's your space. You have your space. Come on. Let's. Let's, let's you my flame weapon you stole out of my truck. It ain't even a weapon. Let's let this go, man. You guys, man. Jesus Christ. It's a motherfucking tool. Get it right. If you want a weapon, go buy one. This is not a weapon. You got to put it all over my head. Sorry. No, yep. Just put it in over my head. Other way, other way. Uh, a sticker goes out in front. Hey, look. Hey, look, man. Uh, I, I, there you go. Let's strap it up on this vest. It's putting on the bulletproof vest right now. I swear to God, didn't think I needed it this morning. It's bright and early for this. It's too bright and early. Thank you so much to our uh, security guy out here. Okay, you good? Yeah. Hey, hey family. Yeah, no, that's no problem. That's no problem. We respect that. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's like, man, you know, I, I mean, I be living this shit. It's on my Twitter. I be saying all things through communication and understanding through communication. I'm a firm believer in that, man. So we, we, got, we got to be able to talk, man. We got to be able to talk. Shit. I mean, you, you hear... Yelling at people, talking about man, step back, step back. They ain't stepping back. I mean, sh I really don't enjoy putting myself in these kind of situations, man. But you know, I mean, man, somebody, it's a, it's a lack of de escalation skills out here. You see, as soon as we got that young man smiling and joking, then he's like, yeah, okay. You know, because it ain't a tough guy contest at that point. It's not at all this and that. Man, of course, yeah, you ain't scared of no gun. My old ass is. How about that? You protect me. You you help me not get shot. You go live for another day. I mean, man, we got to be able to have this de-escalation, man. Right there. You know what I'm saying? Does that one work for you? Yeah, it's on backwards, though. Yeah. You got to put the vest on right for, it, right for it to work. You know what I'm saying? Oh, fuck you. Red. Yeah, it's a Converge Media on, on on Facebook. Yeah. Converge Media. I mean, I'm a legitimate member of the media. You ain't telling that shit to CNN or anybody else. Man, I mean, but you don't control the media. You control your chop. And so I can respect the space, though, and I will leave the space, and that's no problem. But I'm going to continue to record because this is what I do. So, we've been asked by some of the protesters to not film inside an area over there. And be honest with you, it's like, man, you got to know what fights to fight. And there's not really anything at the moment that's... Uh, that has like high production value to be a filming inside. 
popping over here though. The precinct. Ooh, man. Back up. What time is it, Jake? 8.44 a.m. Coffee and bulletproof vest. Welcome to the chat. Yeah, no. This, this is Bobby Stills. I know, I know you thought you were going to have a day off. Yeah, skateboard and everything. You're like, man, it's going to be so quiet in the chop. Oh, so, so as soon as, so you were, you were watching on the stream, uh, just chilling. And then as soon as you heard gun, that's why we love Bobby Stills. Let the juggalos speak, man. They're going off on you. Are they? Homeboy was like, yo, man, I'm just trying to call call the juggalos down here. Like, uh, we're not talking about that right now, sir. CNN's Let, over there. Dude, yeah, I would give them a bigger that. platform. It's like, and then the juggalos is going off. Whoop, whoop, family. <laughs> they let the juggalos speak, man. And he still got on him with all the action. It might have only been five seconds, but. You know, the, the thing is, is it's like, we got our news story when it works in there you know it works in there so, uh, so you're speaking on behalf of the juggalos <laughs> i'm not speaking on behalf of the juggalos <laughs> yeah bobby's a juggalo representative <laughs> can we get that on the screen list, please they're, they're yeah well, wait, wait, gang, so. well, well you're, uh, hey, hey speaking of i mean you know there's the call to action right there right we got one but uh the, the juggalos there was they're repping in your in your comment there yeah, well, I don't want no funk with anybody. I so. didn't know. I, I wasn't aware that you had, uh, you know, your fans were awake this early. But man, I was up at 522, man. You didn't call me. I didn't think I needed to call. Well, you know what? I, it was going down. As soon as I woke up, it was going down. I, I, I'm, I'm even on the wrong phone. I had to call people. I had to call. Uh, the only person you had to blame for not knowing where the phone was at. No, was no, you. no, no, no. It's, it's like <laughs> I went out. I went outside. I went outside and it was already going down, and so I just had the phone I had on me. And I was like, "Oh snap!" And Jake, man, Jake got your bag. See, yeah, good people, good people yeah, on the team. Yeah, I woke up to a phone call from Mickey at like <laughs> six in the morning. Bobby, uh, Bobby, <laughs> Bobby still. So he was out here. So basically, he's watching the stream, and as soon as he heard "gun," you know, brushing my teeth, ate some cereal, was like, "All right, man," you know, everything's under control. As soon as he heard "gun," we're trying to get the. Yeah, good. Uh, yeah, you know I can't see. This is what I'm saying. I posted yesterday on my uh, Instagram and on my Facebook page. I said, oh, yeah. uh, I said, uh, good friends are hard to find, difficult to leave, impossible to forget. This guy right here, here, Eric Calligraphy. I'm telling you, man, never alone out here, man. Y'all good? You need anything? You got the. Got the vest, man. Yeah, we. Yeah, I'm saying we. 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 we, we, we told me to put it on forwards. <laughs> well, it looked crazy before. Man. That's backwards. Well, I mean, yeah, but who? Ideally, who's the expert in wearing vest? How often, you know what I'm saying? These vests with. Eh. I mean, you got to think two weeks ago, we had to become experts in wearing gas masks and putting the gas mask on right. And is the filter on right? And is the gas mask sealed? And there's the goggles for the spray. I mean, man, we become on the job experts on a lot of stuff out here. So. What, protesters? Yeah, remember we had the, it was Rooks, the chief of staff. No, 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 no. So, okay. So, you, you had, um, Rooks, Rooks, you, Rooks. you had directors in Zimbabwe from SDOT. That was the white guy. Yeah, but the guy, they, they want to know who the African-American guys were. The skinny guy with glasses. That's the chief. That's Fire Chief Scoggins. No, no, our, 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 your guy. Huh? I'm not, don't say you. I'm not no oh, motherfucking I'm protester. Sorry, I mean, I'm a uh, journalist like you. I know, I meant, uh, yeah, hold up, man. Don't put me in the bag. You work you for the right. AP, man. Dude, get that shit right. Who you, who you, 
I work for Converge Media. I'm not no protester, man. You know what I'm saying? I thought you were. Yeah, man. Man, well, fuck. You get that shit straight. I'm the one who invited you guys. I'm the one who invited you guys to to our press conference yesterday, man. I appreciate you everything. No, I and know you, you made sure I was safe, too. No, I know and I made sure you were safe. Also, I was live, and they heard you go, how did you get the tip off? And I did get up at 4 o'clock in the morning, and I did get a tip. It's, it's so, exactly. So that's what I'm saying. I ain't got no problem, but yeah. what, what I'm saying is it's really important in Tennessee because I live in this city as well. I'm doing my very best to be able to give a, a real um, um, balance I'm so you know, story out together. here. I hope we're no, good. no, we're good. But I mean, but I'm on a live stream here, too, so yeah. that's why I need Do to correct shit. the fact or whatever. Right. But what, are you talking about... Uh, the pro uh, the 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 protesters who you're trying to identify. So the, the, that guy David Lewis is right over there, and he could probably help you with the name because the names keep changing. All right. Hey, what's up, man? How are you? I'm Aaron. I'm with Cairo Radio. Hey, what's up? How, you How are you? Good, good. Did you happen to catch that situation back there? The... I caught everything. Was this, is why uh, this is why I'm out here, so I can catch I mean, everything. I mean, the, the cocking of the gun, the hammer, all that. Yeah. Hey man, I just, this, I, this I, I'm just gonna do a. I'm gonna go live on the air and talk about it, and I don't mm. want people to not believe me. <laughs> and I didn't catch it, and I can. Well, I mean, people, I can refer people to your. Feed oh well, yeah, I mean, yeah, the First stream is a stream. I have a question sleep. though. It's yeah. a guy who has a, a radio problem. show out there, at Cairo. Is it Dory Mons? No, 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 no. It's not Dory. You know what I'm saying? I mean, I listen to everybody. Yeah. So uh, it's not him. Who are some of the guys out there? Well, we have Dave Ross in the morning. Dave Ross. Yeah. Yeah, no, he Dave. He uses your stuff all the time. Yeah, Dave Ross has said something. When you see Dave Ross, man, tell him I say hello. I will. I never met be him before right anything. Now, if sure. Dave Ross, if you out there, man, <laughs> Cairo Radio. You know, I'm a radio guy. It's just started, man. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. College radio. And my uh -huh. first, my, some of my me first too. jobs. No, me too, me too. Yeah, some of my first jobs were in radio. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Even when I was living overseas, I was in radio in Tanzania. Uh, in Kenya, a few other places. So, yeah, yeah. I'm a radio guy first. Right so, on, you see Mark. Dave Ross, you tell him I say hi. I will, I will. All right. Oh, man. That Hey man, so I've come back here because people on the stream wanted some clarification. Now, what were you saying earlier? I wanted to just have my Juggalo family come here so that way we can support you guys in this manner. So that way the cops can't get what they want and no one else can say and shit what's about And what's a Juggalo? Juggalo? Juggalo. Uh, it's a group that... Uh, Fucking listens to ICP if you know that group. It's Insane Clown Posse. Uh, ICP. Oh yeah, I know it. Now I can't tell you I know any of their songs, but I do know the Insane Clown Posse. Yeah. So technically, the government's been on us for a long ass time trying to say we're gang gang members uh -huh. when entirely we treat each other like family. We don't even uh -huh. try to steal. We usually just smoke a lot. We don't do that much. <laughs> Have you smoked this morning? Yes, I actually have. Okay. So, so, all right. Well, I just I follow up. I got a lot of comments, so I thought I would come back over. And I saw Bobby Steele's. Bobby yeah. Steele's was like, yeah. Oh, did you know that Tech Nine is a juggalo? Tech Nine? Tech Nine's a juggalo. Okay. All learn right. Something new every day. Uh, learn something new every day. <sighs> Nah. Is today Pride? Uh, it's Friday. Is it Pride? This weekend is. So it's Pride. <laughs> Yo, this is gonna be it's nuts. Gonna be a lit this is gonna be nuts. Cal Anderson is fit to be. Oh my God, man! This is gonna be a wild one. Be a real wild one, man. Yes, sir. Thank you. I appreciate it. Thank you so much. So, what we're gonna do now is we're just gonna head uh, westbound on Pine Street or Pike Street, actually, from 12th down to 11th. And then we're gonna bust a right and head back north on 11th. So. 
Uh, like, man, very interesting morning here, man. You know, uh, there was a lot of tip-offs, though. I mean, it was it was quiet. I got a lot of messages last night and some starting throughout the day that said that the city was coming at 6.15. But, you know, like, the, the breakdown is, is if you know somebody's coming at 6.15, well, I mean, if that's the leaked information, they're probably coming at, like, 4, you know what I'm saying, or yeah. 5. Because if that's the information that's leaked out, I mean, you know, these guys know that everything leaks. Oh, yeah, they put it out there. So it's like, yeah, 6.15. But actually what occurred is that S. Dot Parks and everybody else had arrived around 5-ish. And then they started dismantling and staging around 5.20-ish, 5.30-ish. And so the park, if you guys, um, they just repainted this. So now we're gonna head northbound on 11th. There's a, there were the, the park is supposed to be closed after two o'clock today. And so that was another thing. So we saw a sign earlier that parks had put up and it said that parks department was closed or that the park was closed temporarily today at 2, 2 p.m. And, you know, what I brought up there at that time, this was like 5.30 this morning. What I brought up at that time was I was like, okay, well, 2 o'clock, they're saying the park's closed. Then at 2.01, that kind of leaves it open to either loitering or unlawful assembly or something like that because they didn't have a posted time, you know what I'm saying, and saying that the park is closed. So they had the signs up. It said 2, it said 2 p.m. They were going to close it. Damn, when was the last time you was in the rhino room, Jake? Uh, I don't know what I actually You ever been in there? No, yeah, I, used to go, kind of I used to go for Supreme's birthday party. Supreme, you know Supreme La Rock, right? Uh-huh. Yeah. So now this is back here. We're in the lower area. Um, that was the precinct right up there. We basically just walked around the block. Uh, everything else. Cal Anderson at the moment is quiet. Um, these guys are wild, man. I don't know what to say. So what I can say is a few things. That I mean, we have our morning show at 11 um, for you guys to follow us there. We are doing a morning update show at 11 a.m. I'll see if I can get some of this footage out and edit it before then. We might actually do the morning show earlier today that's 11 a.m you can find it right here and a lot of other facebook pages and online and everything else but let me set the scene for you one more time before we get out of here um at about 5 30 this morning right there where you see the western barricade and then also along these barricades right here s dot was disassembling the boxes they also had the bulldozers in place to move the cement barriers they posted a sign over here at cal anderson park that said the park is temporarily closed at uh at two o'clock and they began to try to deploy uh their human services into the park now about 15 20 minutes later uh enough protesters had woken up to where they were um laying down in front of the bulldozers S. Dot had called it off uh, as a representative from the mayor's office. Stephanie is her name, and unfortunately, I don't have her uh, her last name in front of me. And so then, what we saw ensue was open air negotiation, basically between the Seattle police, uh, the Seattle uh, DOT, the mayor's office, public utilities, and then ultimately fire. Um, and what they what they said is they're going to meet again later on today to further discuss uh, negotiations around the footprint here. Um, and so at 12 o'clock, they're supposed to allow human services in to to make some assessments. And like I said, remember, if you guys have been watching for a minute before I went and talked to what you call David Lewis, I was like, man, 
Watch, watch what's going to happen. They're going to negotiate. Here's what's going to happen. Today, they're going to allow it human services. You heard him say that. They were going to move the car off the water main because that makes sense. Like, who wants to mess that up? So I said that they're, they're, they're going to do that. And then I said that they're going to concede some barriers that they're going to give up. I'm pointing to those over there. And they're going to do that. And, you know, I mean, this is it's kind of where it's at. So this is clearly is going to be ongoing coverage for us throughout the day. Uh, you know, we've called all the producers. We've pulled up all the vests. <laughs> and uh, so do said that they were the insane clown posse and all that. Yeah, but you didn't, yeah, but no, you didn't no, know. I, went, I know I went back over so I could learn. You know what's all about learning, man? Yeah, exactly. So people on the stream can learn, too. So um, we're going to continue to give you uh, um, ongoing coverage out here. You know, once again, we're the, your first eyes on the ground. You know what I'm saying? And you didn't have to rely upon, you know, a... a outdated information or information that might be false or untrue or a narrative by either side, by the, the protesters or the city, you know what I'm saying? Having the camera on the ground and being here is something, you know, where you're able to see things for yourself and make your own analysis. And I think that that's really what we want to, um, really what we like to be able to do here is, um, what we like to be able to do here is just give you guys the platform. You know what I'm saying? From a street level and put it in here. This has been one of the most interesting streams that we've had in quite a few days, though. You know what I'm saying? For sure, as we've got a lot of movement. And for somebody who just for somebody who just woke up right now, if they were just waking up right now and then they're looking around the shop, they would swear nothing happened this morning at all. Because that big S dot presence that was here, Seattle Parks presence that was here, public utilities, all those guys that had presence, trucks everywhere, workers everywhere, it's all gone. So, I mean, I don't know. If somebody hit the alarm button at 9 a.m., they'd be like, oh, it's just another day in the chop. Because all, all, all of this happened between 5.30 and about an hour ago. And so guys are out here probably like, what's the big deal? I don't see anything. I got reports out of text messages and their lights that they'll be there at 5.15. Yeah, they they were here. They were they were here right at right at right at five fifteen. So we're gonna continue our coverage throughout the day. I appreciate you guys that took the time to join us on the stream right here, man. Also, you know what I'm saying if you appreciate what we're trying to do over here, please feel free to donate. There's a link down there in the bottom. You know what I'm saying, or just spread some love. That's all good too. And you know what I'm saying, positive energy is always accepted. So you know donations ain't always in the cash sense. You know, uh, you got something to say. Uh, it turned out that, like, on the media, I just got a call from someone trying to say that uh, I'm somehow the leader or something. So we did want to, again, clarify. So hold on, hold on, hold on. I was I was actually getting ready to press the finish button, but so I'm glad you got Come over here in the shade, though. You'll get a, you'll get a, you'll get a better shot. Oh, man. You got hit on the Twitter. What'd you say? Yeah, I mean, like, yeah, and you got, and you you have to speak up a bit because we you know we usually have the mic out here, but I just ran out, so you got to speak up a bit. I just want to clarify. We just got a notification from someone saying that Converge Media, like someone Converge Media, was saying that, like I was saying that I'm just a unilateral leader, which again, absolutely not. Well, absolutely, you, you, we both heard our conversation. Yeah. Because then right after that, it got funky over there, and, and I didn't mention you again. So we both heard the conversation. Yeah. So who? So I'm just letting you know, and I'll give you a platform to say whatever you want. I'm telling you that whoever's telling you whatever is gassing you. Okay. Maybe maybe not intentionally, but they're, hold on, but they're gassing you because we both sat here together, and you said what you had to say. And right after that, it got funky and I moved on to a whole nother subject. Yeah. So whatever came out your mouth yeah. and we discussed, we both discussed together. Thanks. Brother, man, social media, you know, I had to stop looking at a lot of stuff, know, but it's all good. But hold on. That being said, because, you know, we, we need to keep my, my journalism intact. So if anybody's telling you that, oh, Converge said this or that, they're gassing you. And it ain't even it ain't even premium. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And so so that being said, because, you know. Here you go. I'll let you say what it is you want to say, but ain't nobody going to sit here and make nothing up on me. Here you go. Understood, brother. And all I'm trying to do is relay the aspect of the true, rapid nature of social media, bro. And that's the problem. That's why we need to have all these cameras watching us all the time. That's why, we, like, thank you for keeping all of us accountable. Get it. Just wanted to clarify, because even that one blip can't let that last. This is not a unilateral leadership. This is not any sort of anything. 
this is Angel, one of the individuals who's part of the council that are making these decisions and listening to everybody. It's not me just here doing all this nonsense. And even I said in the in the in the, in the, in the you never said that. I said right, to you, exactly. you never said you were the leader. I said somebody needs to take ownership and be out there. That's what I said. So, like I said, even with somebody right. saying that, that's this. Yeah, so it's all yeah, so 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 good. What I'm, I'm yeah, clip, uh, cut the cut the cut that nonsense before it gets bad. Yeah, it's all good. Yeah, so decisions are made with the council. Everything's choosing to protest Occupy for the I just gotta speak up just a little bit more. Sorry. Everyone that is choosing to occupy protests out here is taking their responsibility. They are holding accountability. They're all responsible for whoever comes. Yeah. That's uh, their choice. Whenever whenever you see me just like chilling and like talking and stuff, I'll always clarify when it's my own personal opinion. But when I do speak up on the pat on the part of the collective, it'll be because I talked to people. Well, I mean, but you know what you guys need to do, though, in, in my point of view, and I've been saying this for two weeks, man, just get you a public information officer. That's what we have one now. You know what I'm saying? Like, we, we've been out here for hella. You know what I'm saying? Come out every day, 9 a.m., 10 a.m. You got something to say, you don't have something to say. You can give your events that are going on that you want the, the public to be aware of and other things. Or you could be like, we have nothing to say today. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? It's like, but no, not, not, not well, all I'm saying is... The media, on behalf of the media, we've been asking somebody, please present a public information officer. They ain't got to be like all deep in the title, and, and but one okay. person, and then won't nobody even talk to nobody else. Talk point to point that point one guy or, or one, one, one person. Angel, myself, Brooks were the people who were the three, but there's also some of the people did not see Keanu. Yeah, so but. We, we talked about that just this morning. But, but you guys, so, but, so here's, here's what I'm saying is that the mayor, the city council, the city council as a whole, has a public information office. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? So a counselor might say this, say that, but you know, you can go to the to their one person and, exactly and get their information. Like, okay, so well, like, again, we look so forward you, to again, meeting as them. As the person who's been here, like you've been here from the beginning when we started this, right? Yeah. It's an organic growth, organic yeah. growth. It's myself and then like, well, again, we're fucking civilians fighting for freedom. It's not a fucking office. <laughs> right. I'm just saying, but, but it's a learner. But, but there has to be a. But but the thing is, it's like here. But here's, but here's the other thing. It's like yeah, you're civilians fighting for freedom. Okay, that's granted. But goddamn, I'm, I'm sure you guys got a following. Put a following out. Put a following out. There's a lot of people that support you guys that they, that ain't here. They ain't gotta be here. They so do press releases. And then the expectation is as well, though, is that you got to expect that the media is going to follow just like water as well. And as, as, like, and as I was trying to say, this really was this organic oh, no. growth. I when understand. We that, when we went to the mayor, when like, we okay. found out exactly where she was going to be and we marched with 7,000 people, right. it was just myself yes. and another person like just chilling up there. Um, okay. What did I ask? I asked everybody, if you have community representatives, share them with us. Right. Now, a couple of people have stepped up. This young woman is like, my side is one of those people. Okay. Now we have a council that, we've been, that we can represent the protesters that go forward. Okay. All I right. Asked, that's, I asked for people to so, come and now they came up. Okay, that's what's up. So I'll, I'll run with that and wh whoever, whoever your, your public information person is man just put them in touch with me you know what i'm saying we'll be doing ongoing coverage throughout the day and what i will say is this is that the the morning show is there from 11 to 12 if you guys want to come on the morning show if you or council or pio or whoever platform is right there morning show is there at 11 so you know if you want to come through just be out here actually we're probably gonna be broadcast before 11 We'll be out here. Just come through. You know what I'm saying? More than happy for you guys to come and, and talk about whatever the situation is on your side. But, 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 but did you hear what I said? Is that our morning show is there from 10, uh, I think it was from 11 to 12, but we'll be doing it a bit earlier today. So if you guys want to come through or whatever, more than welcome. Say whatever it is that you want to say. But you better, you better know my report be on point about it here. Whoever's whoever's pressing gas on Twitter, man, throw some water on him. <laughs> All right, you know what I'm saying? Like, whoa here, whoa here. You know, somebody on social media said that Omari and Converge Media said, like, come the fuck out of here, man. You know what I'm saying? Y'all stop playing games with these people, man. You see, they already out here. It's a tense situation for them and everything. And somebody sitting over there. You know what I'm saying? In they crib, 
feet up, chilling, and they just pushing gas out here. You know what I'm saying? Trying to gas people up. But I'm glad he came over here and came right to me like, yo, this is what my people are saying. Now, I squash that. You guys stop playing games out there, man. I know it's like uh, social media. People are crazy in the comments and everything. But, you know, it's real life down here on the ground. You feel what I'm saying? So, anyways, we're going to get out of here for now. Catch up with everybody um, when we go for the morning update show here in a few hours. Peace.